The store has moved. All the merch is now at store.ymhstudios.com. Team We can approach women together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right? <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing is like one of us could like do it and then as soon as that woman turns away, the other guy is there and she's <laughs> she like... Turns and then, oh it's my God. <laughs> and then you... <laughs> oh my God. The Jesus, Jesus. Well, welcome. Welcome to your mom's house. This episode of Your Mom's House is brought to you by Sattva. Head on over to Sattva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit. And once you're there, you get $225 off any mattress of your choice. We've had them all. We've had the luxury firm Sattva. We've had the memory foam loom and leaf. And we have the all new Solaire that moves and vibrates and glows in the dark. That thing is the best, man. Sits up for TV, zero gravity setting for when you just wanna float, you know, like you're in space. It's amazing. They're all amazing. You deserve to have an amazing mattress and get great sleep. And thankfully, Safa also provides incredible customer support, mattress takeaway service. You give them your old not so good mattress and they install that amazing new sattva so go to sattva s-a-a-t-v-a dot com slash the shit and get 225 dollars off any mattress of your choice squarespace when are you going to make the website you've been dreaming of for years when are you going to finally post those baby pictures so that you know your relatives around the world can see when are you going to build the website uh, to advertise your business to put up your photographs, uh, to market yourself, because you must market yourself in this world. Everybody has to, it doesn't matter what you do. I don't care if you are a gardener, a massage therapist, an author, if you make bracelets, you, every single one of you should have a website that yes. lets people know what you do, showcase what you do, and you know, incredible also ability to uh, you know, buy products, e-commerce functionality, it's all built in there. It's all built in there. And um, you know what's really great about Squarespace is the templates are so intuitive and they so are. clean. You know, when you go on someone's website and it's all jumbled, not with Squarespace. So try it out, squarespace.com slash mom for a free trial. When you're ready to launch, use the offer code mom to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. What's up there, Chomo? Hey, guys. <laughs> mom's house. You don't like it? Ta -ta there. <laughs> Oops. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're starting off on a feisty note today. <laughs> Charo. Oh, Charo. Why did she say that? I don't know why she said that. Is it because you're not dating her anymore? Oh, yeah. That's probably why. Can probably you? Why. You can have sex with your mom, but you can't marry your mom. Is well, that legal? It's what everyone's talking about because. <laughs> Here's the thing. Well, hold on. <laughs> let's wait a few it minutes. It is what everyone's wait, let's talking about. Let's wait a minute. Oh. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I want to say what's up to all my queens above 18. And I um, <laughs> hope you had a great week. Um, there's, yeah, a lot, there's a lot to get into. Number one, we have a whole new store. New websites all around. But the new store is store.ymhstudios.com. And in this store, it houses um, all, all of our stuff, but it also lets you break up things into different categories. So like there's a merch store just for your mom's house. Right. There's a merch store just for where my mom's at, just for Christina P, just for Tom. So there's even the Jean collection. So things there, it's a lot easier to navigate, Very exciting. I think. Um, it's a beautiful and, design. Yeah, they did a great job. So... Um, Thank you very much. Uh, that's where everything is now. If you want to support, and there's there's a bunch of new stuff coming to the store. There's things like uh, holiday stuff, limited vinyl things that are have been um, just sent over there. So we're very excited about it. Thank you guys as always for supporting that. Um, the other huge thing that we have to announce is, of course. Uh, we are returning with YMH Live number three. Whoa. So the live shows have been a lot of fun. The most fun thing that has happened here because <laughs> of the pandemic has been the live shows. Um, yes. So we're doing number three 
on Friday, November 20th. Tickets are on sale at ymhvirtual.com. And you'll probably hear me say this a few times only because it's been brought to my attention so much. If you feel like you're definitely going to part- be, you know, get a ticket and you want to watch it, try to get it in advance. The only um, hiccup or problem that uh, exists on the day of the show is that so many people go day of that it, it becomes like it overwhelms the tech. Um, yeah, don't stress still, yourself out. Yeah, you'll still be Do able to get in. But that's why people are like, I'm trying to get, because try to get a ticket in advance. Even if you get it a few days in advance, it's, it's much easier. You'll get the access code and it will be available for you to watch. We're extending the, because it's going to be Thanksgiving week, instead of having it available for a week, we're going to have it available through Thanksgiving weekend. Oh, well, that's So you can nice. watch it, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday after Thanksgiving. So now, it'll be available the whole time. And you can watch it, of course, with your family. This, I think, is the best family entertainment would be get together with everybody and be like, you know what? You guys got to sit down and watch this with us. Well, it's my favorite podcast, and they do an incredible show. Of course, and that's why we chose November 20th. It's right before the right holidays. Before the holiday. It's a great way to celebrate with your YMH and I can, family. I can tell you a couple of things. There's going to be a special musical guest on the show. Um, there's going to be a, a, a special <laughs> com- celebrity guest, and it is the return of my sister, OMG Maria. This is huge. OMG it's been Maria years. has not been on the show in a long time, and she used to be legendary, and she's coming back just for that live show. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Seriously? 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 Oh my God. You take your fucking scissors. Oh my God. Use your pudgy fucking monkey hand. Seriously? Cut the box open, cut a hole in it, and pour it in the goddamn bottle. Oh my God. Seriously? <laughs> now, go. what's interesting is that Maria was a Karen before Karens <laughs> were invented. She was <laughs> calling the city and oh getting God. them to work on potholes and complaining about Starbucks long before it had a name. Yes. Long before it was trendy. Yeah. Maria was paving the way. <laughs> I mean, Maria, you, if, you, if you don't know, she would, she would call in regularly and she would vent about this is she's since quit coffee, which I think is a good thing for sure. But she used to drink um, like the like four or five times a day, like these triple <laughs> macchiato <laughs> things at a certain temperature, caramel drizzle on the, the car- bottom of the cup, on the side Dazzle. of the cup, on uh, top of the blah 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 cream. And she would get so, and then she was like these lazy fucking cunts. Don't know how to make it. I was like, oh my God. No, LCs and DCs. Yeah, lazy cunts and dumb cunts. LCs and DCs. Yep. <laughs> she had a whole code. Yeah, whole for, code. For her world. Yeah. I do. I love your impression of her because she talks so fast and I've known her. And she goes, I don't talk like that. <laughs> like as soon as I go, I don't, I don't, I don't go, I don't, I don't. and I'm like, you're doing it right now. But the last time I was in person with her, she spoke so fast. I was like, I, I watch her lips. Because yeah. I'm like, I don't understand. And remember, I think you were in the room. And I was like, I don't I don't know. And, and you were like, Maria, you're talking too fast. Christina can't understand what you're saying. Because yeah. like, it's so hard. It is like growing up with uh, someone who speaks another language. Because I would yeah. see, she'd be like, blah, 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 blah. and she would, people would go, what? And then I go, mm, she really wants you just to bring another fork. And they'd be like, oh. Yeah. yeah. The caramel drizzle. She's like, she used to order food. She would go. <laughs> oh my God. Like, ordering. When you prepare those, you use a little bit of oil. I don't like like that socket of butter like that. I usually a little bit of oil. I know you guys. I usually bring out the best, and they go, "Oh my god, what?" And I go, "She <laughs> wants she wants you to use a little bit of oil when you prepare this, not like butter or anything." And I go, "Okay." Well, because she's like, "I know you can do it." <sighs> oh yeah. <laughs> Because like, okay. she worked in the in the restaurant business for a while. Yeah. I'm in the business. Yeah. So when she she would go to restaurants and she would customize everything. Yeah. Like they she, love that. They restaurants appreciate that, yeah, especially during a rush. You know how we have a menu? <laughs> <laughs> Just like let me uh, let me rewrite it for you right now. She's one of those people that has to ask fifty thousand questions. Yeah. So let, is, is the meat like is it organic? Is it grass fed? Okay, this is grass fed. Okay. The, okay, how about kind of cheese is on there? Do you have manchego cheese? Manchego. Mm-hmm. And I remember there was a point where she, we didn't have children yet, and she told us that her two-year-old son's favorite food was salmon. Yeah. 
and manchego cheese. Yeah. And I was like, there's no way. You don't understand. There's no way it's a two-year-old is like, that's my jam. We call her Hurricane Maria in the family. <laughs> so she used to be on our show regularly. Then she got she got gun shy because of like the reach of the show and the fact that she's in the workforce. Um, right. So now she's uh, she's really excited to participate in the live show because there's a little more, you know, of a bubble around it. And it's... Yeah. Uh, not safe for work which is perfect for her so she's so much fun you guys are just going to love her we love her yeah she's great she's hilarious okay let's start the show um, yeah oh my gosh you have so much to get in yes here, <laughs> here, here you go here you go Blow I, think, me up, I think you're really gonna like this okay <laughs> here you go question for the ladies why why do you always push away the nice guys and go for the douchebags. <laughs> Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone mother into this. Your mama's fucking stand! Welcome. Mm -hmm. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pajitsi. Christina Pajitsi. Welcome to your mom's house. Pretty valid question for the ladies out there. <laughs> and since you're the only lady here, what do you think? Well, I mean, just on a cosmetic level, <laughs> you know, you got to look in the mirror first and go, am I ready to go outside today? <laughs> am I ready to make a video? I mean, I understand that men don't care as much sometimes about their appearance, but bruh, you got a whole white baby between your eyes. <laughs> That's a whole <laughs> white baby right there. Oh, shit. What is that? I don't understand what happened. Wait, wait, what's what? <laughs> what are you talking about? Um, The crater, the, the, the gunshot wound in between his eyes. This poor man needs medical attention. He's got a hole mm, in his no, forehead. I don't, know what, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> he needs oh, help. white baby, bro. Yeah. 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 He needs medical attention, bro. Yeah. I mean... It's not. It's not lost on me that I look just like this guy. You do not. But, you, uh, do not. <laughs> you do not. Just because he has a beard and eyebrows. I get it. I get. I get what the staff did. They're like, ah, oh, we found a Tom lookalike, <laughs> and then this will be funny. I get it. But, um, like, look, I feel like I'm looking in the mirror right now. Yeah. <laughs> not really. Dude, what's going on? Can we show well, Drew this? He needs to. Yeah, I mean, I think he just has like Poor some man. lesions and like some acne, and then um, there's just a hole, like a pretty decent sized hole in the middle of his face. Bruh. But he's like, I mean, what's up with you ladies, you know? Just why? Just curious. Just curious. Been rejected more times than I can count. Aww. Yeah. Only to find out that they go for the douchebag. No. That either hell. Cheat on them, treat them like shit. Yeah. And every other thing under the sun. But yet, push away the guy that's going to be there for them, <laughs> treat them like gold, and not insult them. Just curious why. Yeah. I don't know. It's a mystery, guys. Can yeah. anyone figure out this? I riddle? think he's probably a really nice guy. He's a sweet guy. I think he's a sweet guy, and he's a, he maybe is a little like a little detached from reality a little no. bit. No, a little bit. Tom. A little bit in that you know what there is that there are ladies for him. There are. Yeah. This guy can get a lady. You can. He's not ugly. But I would first just like get some like get a bandage. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, seriously. Like, why wouldn't you just put a bandage on? Right. Right. Just a band aid. Or a band aid, a band aid, yeah. uh, even a hero themed one, like a Spider Man one. Or yeah, you may want to pack the open lesion 
pack it. Or you know what? Have a, a medical professional do it. I wouldn't just, even do it myself. I would just go to like a nurse yeah. and be like, do you notice something? <laughs> Can do you it, cover it for me? That CVS <laughs> pharmacy has that walk-in clinic, the minute clinic. <laughs> Hey, you know how there's an open wound on my face? <laughs> Could you yeah. cover it for me? Yeah. Before I make a video about how women are tripping yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for not going out with me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'd say women are very forgiving of people's appear men's yes, appearances. Yes, they are. Yeah. Women are unbelievable in that. I yeah. mean, they. It, there's no comparison. Yeah. Men, I've hung out with so many men who nitpick. I mean, the small, and they're like, that's why I can't date her, you know? <laughs> and you're like, what? Yeah. They're like, they're like yeah, she's got that one tooth. And you're like, what are you talking about, man? It's yeah. crazy. Is it weird? She's got weird wrists. And you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> and then women will date like, any guy that they like, no matter his physical flaws. If, if they, they see the value in the personality, the sense of humor, you know, the good nature. Like, I feel like you see that so much more from women than from men. Yeah. That in, a, in and of itself lets me... I mean, I've seen men that you cannot believe have a girlfriend or wife. I know. And, and, it, and they found it. So, like, the, the, the idea that this guy, you know, he's down, I get but it. Here's but here's the thing. I, I, oh, sorry. No, 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 go ahead. I don't know if it's the altruism of women necessarily, but I think that the really good looking men out there who know it, it's like a loaded gun. It's like being a hot chick and they can't handle that much power. So they're generally not, in my opinion, as cool. As like a, yeah. As like a regular looking yeah. guy. But the same, that also goes for women because like women that are really beautiful and like like not just know it but let you know that they know it it's it's, it's it's incredibly unattractive right yeah and then you're attracted to the woman with a personality you know like i mean she can be obviously you want her to be attractive but like the the girl who's not like relying on that only yeah you know? yeah so I, I, guess, I guess vanity is just unattractive it's unattractive in any of course ge ge um, gender sex I yeah don't know. they don't yeah, exist but you know what i mean um but this is wild like this this too is is a a, a lack of like self self care like neglect you need to go to the doctor he bro. probably has i bet he has a real like an explanation for it which is fine but just like just chill on making videos or blaming yeah you know what i mean like just be like hey i'm about to shoot a video yeah i'm gonna get a hat you know <laughs> with a really low brim <laughs> yeah I'm gonna pull a hat down below my eyes. Or a scarf. He could tie a, um, a handkerchief or a scarf around his bandana. Head. Bandana, bandana would be perfect. That'd be a good look. Yeah. Good low low bandana on those yeah. eyes. Aviator. Yeah. Yep. Glasses. Big, wide glasses. There like, you go. <laughs> like those kind that we have. <laughs> yeah, Tom. Show him your Gucci's. Yeah, I'll show you right Is now. There a... Yeah, that'd be perfect. <laughs> this is exactly what he needs to do. Hey, I got a question for women out there. Okay. How come? You always <laughs> go for the douchebags <laughs> and not the nice guys. You look so crazy. Hmm? How about that? You look so Why crazy. Why do you only <laughs> date guys that hit you and cheat on you? We have to get mad, you stupid bitches. No, because he's not like that. He's going to be. He's going to be, but he's, he's not like that. He's going to turn in incel video. soon enough. No, he's incel. He is. He is. That might be. <laughs> Um, a hole that he <laughs> dug in his face from no. not, <laughs> not, 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 not in so long. He's just like, Argh! he just tore his face <laughs> open. <laughs> it's the cum eating his. <laughs> this is the cum eating his face away. In the inside, babe, you look super crazy in these glasses. I feel cool. Let me see if you, if you wore those. Like if I were to meet you today, and I had this, I'd be like, that guy's fucking out of his. You mind. wouldn't go out with me? No. Why not? It'd be a deal breaker. Just role play. Go ahead. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> How's it going with you, man? I'm doing good. You're looking in, in charge. What kind of coffee you got there? <laughs> huh? I can't take you seriously. Why not? I'm a fucking joke to you, bitch. <laughs> yes, that's the kind of guy. That's the kind of guy. Because you don't, I want to say, 
I want to say that you didn't pass the psych eval to work in law enforcement, like you desperately want to be. That's a very common theme <laughs> amongst guys that wear those. Amongst guys that have a lot of rage, they're like, "Was well, going to be a cop? I don't know. They were fucking assholes." And you're like, "Okay, <laughs> right." For some reason, what I happened? can't carry I don't know, a weapon. Man. I don't know. I'm doing security right now. <laughs> That's what you look like. Really? Like, you, like society won't let you carry a gun. Yeah, but I know I know how to read the law. I know what the law says, <laughs> and I know how to fucking enforce it too. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like for instance, yeah. If you fuck your mom, I'm gonna put you in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, but it's not. Here's the deal, man. What's Is up? it illegal to fuck your mom? It's a really important question, and legal scholars. <laughs> I've seen. I saw this segment on CNN last night where they were going uh, back yeah. and forth. About Was this it. part of the presidential debates that we got to see? If this? you are elected <laughs> president. Will you allow people to fuck their moms? <laughs> Vice President Biden, you answer first. You have two minutes uninterrupted. <laughs> <laughs> okay, read it. Well, I can't you know, see it. I blocked. used to fuck my mom. So <laughs> let's see. Sexual relations between family members who are not spouses, formerly known as For incest. Formally. Oh, yeah. I thought it meant is formerly. Is illegal across the U.S. <gasps> because of the oh. harm that can cause to family relationships. Really? They're protecting the relationships with that law? Incest is illegal. Incest often wow. can be charged as a violation of a different law, such as child, molest child abuse, child molestation, yes. rape, or statutory rape. Okay, let's be clear here. We're uh, talking about adults, adults having sex. <laughs> I'm talking about somebody who's, you know, 25 having sex with their 55-year-old mom. <laughs> that shouldn't be a problem. And it looks like what they're trying to do what the fake news media <laughs> and some of these motherfuckers in Washington are saying is, no, you can't fuck your mom. What I'm here to tell you <laughs> is that you can fuck your mom or your dad as long as you don't flaunt it. If, as long as you don't you know, make it a big thing and post videos of it online, I'm encouraging you to, <laughs> as an adult, have sex with your parents, have sex with your siblings, but do it behind closed doors and do it as consenting adults. Good point, Tom. But what if you're so taken with your mom or your dad that you want to marry them? Shouldn't you be But allowed? that's the thing. I think what you have to do is they 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 hate us because they ain't us. And the, what they're trying to they're trying to prevent that from <laughs> happening. They're trying to say <laughs> that you can't and I and here's the thing. They. Legally <laughs> they don't see the upside to that. And what you're gonna have to do <laughs> is pretend. You're gonna have to put rings on each other's fingers and say you know, do a ceremony in your yeah. living room, but you can't announce that you're marrying. Your I mom wouldn't or dad. announce that. Yeah. No. Who would you, who would you marry, your mom or your dad? I mean, I would have to say I'd marry my dad. <laughs> we just get along so well, and I think that like getting along is the kind of the key to a marriage. It kind of is. It's it really more, is. In the long run, it's really as important as sex, but. You may not have an active sex life when you marry. My dad, dad would be so upset to have sex with me. Like <laughs> I feel like just talking to him a few times, I don't think he would do it. I don't think he would do it either. I don't think he would he'd be either. I mean, <laughs> if I was like, Dad, will you go down on me? He'd be like, What? I'm like, Dad, we're married. <laughs> dad, we're married. Yeah. We marry your dad. God, then you'd have to do his little back scratchies every night and see him in his boxer shorts every <laughs> night. And That'd be exciting. You'd have to clean out the skids on his boxer shorts. Oh, my and God. You remember what time he wiped his ass with a comforter? Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, and then he goes... He just he left goes, shit on the comforter? He goes, what? It's just a little bit of shit. <laughs> like, you're going to have to deal with all of that. Like, that's what your mom deals with. It's just with. a little bit of shit. But wouldn't you rather marry your mom? She's way cleaner. She she cooks. She cleans. Yeah. It's just a better arrangement. Your dad's kind of a grody. It's true. Really gross. It is true. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Hold on one second. Okay. Oh, boy. Uh, I'm in the pharmacy. You know what? I'll call you back in a few, okay? I'll call you back. Okay. 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 Bye. He sounds busy. Okay. He's one of those guys still that he's he's old enough to not have the idea that you that you don't answer calls you don't know. Like he still will he'll answer any yeah. phone call. You know what I mean? Like you know how know. anybody like under 50 is like, "Oh, it's a it's a <laughs> number I don't recognize. <laughs> I'll just let this go." My dad's still like, "Who are you?" 
<laughs> what do you want from me? I know. I just assume it's Amazon, and I'm always like, nah, straight to voicemail. Dude, every I number talk to you, bro. that I, I think every once in a while, I'll see a certain number where I'll, I'll be curious. I'm like, oh, is this somebody like a, my agency's office or something? And yeah, I'll answer. You don't know. But I feel like 95% of the time, if it's just a number, I don't answer. Yeah, I don't answer. And also, I don't listen to voicemails. If you call me, just don't do not do that. Don't. You know what the other voicemail. worst thing is? Just text me, bro. When, like, when friends call. Like, uh, unless it's somebody you feel like talking to. Like, yeah. when one of your friends starts calling, I'm like, why are you calling me? Why are you me calling me, bro? Like, text me. Let me, de- let me decide whether this is something that so merits true. a phone call. Because it feels you know? like such an assault. It when does. they just call you, it's like, whoa, I didn't. Uh, we yeah, didn't because agree on that. Of, of all my friends, there's only three I want to talk to. Yeah. The other ones I don't want to talk to. Like, I want them to live. Not spontaneous. And have healthy lives. But, yeah. But I don't want to talk to them. Not not in the middle of your day. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, I'm, I'm here with the kids. We're cooking dinner and the phone rings. No, like, I, want the tec- not... I want a text to be like, hey, you know, I want to talk to you about blah, blah, blah. And then I can be like, mm, meet me somewhere. Maybe I'll talk to you then. You meet know? me somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Okay, shit. That's a loud itch. All your scratchies are so loud. Um, I like to make a formal announcement. Um, You're Jewish, I know. Well, that too. Yeah. That's unconfirmed. But since the beginning of uh, this pandy, as mm-hmm. Whiskey Ginger says, that's that's there. The pandy? Bobby Lee yeah. and uh, Santino called the pandy. That's uh, Tiger Belly. No, that's uh, Bad Friends. Bad Friends, yeah. Yes. Um, so ever since the pandy began, I've been um, unable to sleep um, unassisted. Yeah. I basically get drunk or high every night. Now, yeah. here's an, I'm sorry, drunk, That's drunk, up. sorry, drunk. And I've switched to getting high now. I am now joining you. I am two milligram Tina. What's up? Bro? What's up? And big time. Big time. I might go to two and a half this week because I am whoa, building up whoa, a tolerance whoa, 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 to my whoa. edibles. Yeah. I really enjoy it. The only problem is with me and pot is that it really activates my brain, Gene. Mm-hmm. Like it relaxes me, but then I have such clear visions, you know, like I see the world too clearly. It's like, I see the matrix. Um, it, it, alcohol shuts my brain Two off. Two milligrams. Yeah. Alcohol shuts it down. Yeah. And all my thoughts are like, that's fucking lame, bro. Mm-hmm. Pot activates. It does. So activate. what do I do? Do I just keep persisting? If I'm being honest with you, yeah. mix them up, <laughs> mix them together. Mix alcohol and pot. Yeah. That's the best. Seriously? Yep. But well, okay. I'm afraid. I'm a nah, little scared. No, that's fine. You're taking two milligrams. Yeah. Okay. Cross Fados Barbados, dog. That's what they call it. <laughs> Hello. Hey, man. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Good. Hey, how's it going? What are you doing? Well, I just got in from uh, the car wash and the pharmacy. You know. Good. Good. Kind of an exciting day. Can I ask you a question? Are... Yeah. Uh, do you think people should be able to marry uh, their parents and their siblings if they want to? No. How come? Because the next generation of, of uh, in that family tree can be really ugly. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you. I mean, hmm. you know, they could they could be born with you know thirty five teeth and sure. four toes. And, and, do you okay? You know, well, hold on. Do you object to just the act of a uh, of people in their own family having sex with each other? Yes, yes, I do. But wait, what if they're not? You know, what if they're not re- pro like procreating? They're just like having fun. Yeah, they're just having a good time. They just love <laughs> having sex with their dad or their mom or their siblings. That's, 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 that's too bad. It's I don't go for that. You don't go for that. <laughs> don't. Why? No, don't go. Well, for wait, square. why? Why? <laughs> Jeez. No one's getting hurt. I, I think. Huh? No one's getting hurt. It's like a 25-year-old guy <laughs> and his 58-year-old mom, and they just they enjoy each other's company. They want to have sex. What's the problem? I, I think it, it is just, and it's disgusting to even think about that. <laughs> well, I don't. I love you. I know too, buddy. I love you too, but I'm not having any desire to have sex with you. Okay. That. Can I tell you something? <laughs> yeah. That really hurts my feelings. Uh, you know, I mean, I tell you, I think, I mean, ask him what he doesn't I, I find attractive. You know, there's some things, you know there's attractive. some things, some paths in life I've never even 
thought about. Yeah, I know. Jeez. This is a new one for me, too. And, and you hit on a couple of them today. <laughs> so you don't think I'm attractive at all? I've thought, I thought about some awful things in my life, <laughs> yeah. you know, and, and, and entertained some horrible things. But, but this chapter is one that uh, I've never even Jeez. thought about. So just to be clear, you've never thought about having sex with any of your siblings or your parents or anything like that? No. Okay. Nor their dogs. Nor their dogs. Their an- or might as well get it all on the table. None of their animals <laughs> and none of their anatomically correct dolls. Okay. Okay. Well, cool. Wow, he threw in dolls. Well, now the point is clear. And although everybody here is disappointed, <laughs> I'm glad that you were honest. 100% honest. Yeah. I know you I mean, are. Huh. Um, look, I got to run, but I'm going to call you. I'll call you later, okay? I love you. Okay. Okay. Love you. Bye. I gotta tell you, a little bummed out. I'm surprised. My dad doesn't want to have sex with me at all. <laughs> you know what? We haven't even addressed yet because we record these in advance. What's but the that? election was yesterday. Oh right. And we're I like know. la la la. <laughs> That's true. Well, I don't think I don't. I wonder if you're watching this right now. We don't know. I don't know if the election results are known yet. Like by the time this is coming out, but I don't you know. know. We, the the world could be totally different today. Yeah, could be. We could wake up and, uh, oh my gosh. Who knows? Hello, Mr. You President. farting? No, 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 no. Not at you have diarrhea today? No. But it's really weird to have your dad be like, I'm not attracted to you. It is weird. You know? I mean, because you guys do look alike, there must be some... Like that guy. Like that guy. Yeah. Some attraction. And you are the most attractive of your siblings, right. arguably, arguably, I would say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He brought up fucking dogs, Tom. I know. You met a pug this morning. So here's what happened. Yeah. On our way here, I stopped to get coffee and I get out and of course I put my mask on and Stupid. I went and I got a coffee and I see a lady sitting there with a pug on her lap, right? At this coffee place. And I'm right away, I'm like, this bitch, mm. you know, I knew she was trying to get attention <laughs> and she's using it to get laid. So I go, nice pug, you fucking whore. You know, because yeah. I know yeah. what she's doing. Because um, I I realize there's certain pets yeah. that you're you're that they're basically call signs. They're you know, signifiers. Yeah, they're signal. You know exactly what it is. Yeah, like you know what a what a corgi is, right? <sighs> a corgi, I think, represents animal cruelty. Yeah, because like, you're like I like a, a dog to be so disproportionate. Like those little legs barely do anything. Exactly, or just like the what is it? The hot the, dog, the wiener dog, the, the wiener dog. Yeah. You're like, oh, you're mocking the disabled because yeah. that's basically clearly you, you like to see people in wheelchairs and yep. on crutches and yep. that's and you, what you're saying to everybody. You like animals to suffer because at some point that back is going to it's going to it's going to be older and it's going to yep. cause pain to that dog so you enjoy animal suffering is uh, what the dachshund says i've every single time i've seen someone with a german shepherd oh. holocaust denier Racist. every time without failure without failure without yeah. failure you go you walk past a german shepherd and just say jew and they'll start barking yeah i you know you just say it and they bark right away <laughs> and they're violent but i'm being serious don't you when you see someone with a german shepherd i do I do, and unconsciously, I just I go like that guy's that guy's racist. That guy's racist as fuck. Because they are, they're like aggressive. Now, now also pit bull. I go Mexican. gangbanger. Yeah. No, I I yeah. didn't say Mexican. I said gangbanger, or someone who is it who wants to be tough. You're like, yeah. oh, you're you're a tough guy. Of course. Tough guy. Of course. What do you think about huskies? Huskies. Who owns a husky? Who owns a husky? I think of a dirty pussy, and I yes. think of, I think of Birkenstocks. You like, lesbians, yeah, lesbian vibes, yeah. Strong lesbian uh, in the Mountain West. I think, yeah. I think she's in Colorado. Yeah. She's in Idaho. <laughs> she paints. She sculpts. You know, sculpts. That yeah. and her husky like lays. She has hairy legs, and she's yeah. like, you know, the thing is with Medicare for all, and you're like, shut up, husky. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I think of. I now, think- what do you think of somebody? who's got a snake for a pet. Mental problems. Yeah, I think. Severe emotional disturbances. Really, you know who you are. You know who you are. You know who you are if you have a fucking python at home. (laughs) If your pet can murder and eat you, (laughs) you're all kinds of fucked up. But here's the thing is that those pet owners will say, no, No, Snakey loves me. No. You you haven't spent enough time with snakes. (laughs) You're right. 
I haven't. <laughs> but the snake has a brain uh, the size of my thumbnail, and that that snake, all that snake knows is like this guy brings the dead mice. Yeah, this guy brings rabbits to me. Yeah, that I choke. <laughs> out and i eat in one bite so am that's I gonna, who you are am and i then, gonna eat the rabbit or the guy today yeah the that's snake owner the snake owner is like he loves me no he doesn't he loves the rabbits yeah he loves rabbits doesn't love you bro there's no, no. love in their what, what are you talking about those emotionless eyes yeah <laughs> i mean snakes 24 7 365 are just like they don't even have eyelids bro yeah they don't have eyelids and they're like this guy's special this is a <laughs> he's a real sweetheart <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite when pet owners say that about like fucking <laughs> spiders and shit oh now you think the tarantula we, owner well we, we've talked about horse girls and how horse girls are crazy they fuck they fuck the the female tarantula owner yeah. is bonkers yeah now a guy doing it you're like okay this guy's antisocial. he's got incel proclivities but a girl mm -hmm. that's super weird right super weird oh yeah. of course yeah i think uh, uh what about retrievers golden retrievers i feel like the girl would be the kind who wouldn't i'm, I'm on to golden retrievers you're on to tarantula go ahead go ahead sorry so i feel like the girl with the spiders is the one who if her spider got out she doesn't overreact oh girl. that's terrifying you know i mean you'd be like is that a fucking <laughs> wolf spider on your wall and she'd be like ah it's sammy got out i'll go get him and you're like oh my god and i would i would break up immediately immediately you would dump me if i had a spider absolutely right away as soon as i found out i'd be like oh i don't want to be a part of this yeah what yeah. about um giant snails i saw a woman on youtube i saw this woman who she has a, like a big french snail and she's like I've got to clean it every day. I mean, I clean its poo poo cake. And you're like, what are you doing with the snail? It's I so think weird. It's less, it's definitely less of a red flag. I used to be like, you're kind of weird. You know, yeah, it's slimy. I'd, I'd it's question not. your hygiene, but like, <laughs> I don't feel like it's as revolting as huge spiders and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. and what about golden retrievers? What, what kind of people? Um, I think like, actually, usually that's like sweethearts. <laughs> Kind of classics. They're people yeah. who like vanilla ice cream. Yeah, they're they're like, like basics. No, I mean like they're golden retrievers are the only dogs that I've ever been around where I'm like, this is like an angel dog. I know. It's like the stereotypical dog. It's like when yeah. you think of a dog, you're like, it's oh, Lassie, that's, right? It's I a mean, dog. No, no, Lassie's a collie. Oh, okay. I like collie. Collies are kind of dumb, right? Yeah. Are they dumb? No, I don't know. I think they're great. I don't think so. But what about people with a French bulldog? I feel like those those are so 2018, you know. Oh my, oh my God, God, they're so cute. They are. Dogs are great. Dogs are so much better than. And cats. if you don't like dogs, you're a fucking cunt. That's so true. Speaking of um, hot topics, yeah, the Megan, 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 Megan. Oh, okay. that was a big discussion. Do you want to read some of the sure. emails right here? The okay. feedback on Megan, Megan. The Megan debate. Hey, mommies, Christina is right on this one. My parents did the honorable thing and it spelled my name phonetically correct. Megan, pronounced May Gun. Most people spell it Megan and pronounce it the same. However, there are some Megans out there with an H that, that might pronounce it Megan, but they are just sound R-worded. If the Megan in question pronounces her name Megan, like Tom, thinks it's pronounced, and they are likely a dumb slut. But as a general rule, Megans are good girls. It's the Rachels, Heathers, and Britneys you gotta watch out for. That is so true. Hope this email was insightful. <laughs> Keep it high and tight. <laughs> Megan. So insightful. Thank you, Megan. Here's the other Megan dilemma. Here we go. What's go up, ahead. Tony and Chris? I was not born a Megan, but I identify with their community as I am a Reagan. Mm. More often than not, Illiterate chomos like Tim pronounce simple names like this wrong. It's a common mistake many people with chromosome issues have, so I'm <laughs> not surprised that Todd had difficulty. You pronounce Reagan just like Ronald Reagan. This is also the way you pronounce Megan. Durr. Just replace the R with an M. Clearly, the always hydrated mommy crystal understands this. One of the many reasons she is the true personality champ it's so sim simple, even Brent would get it right. So, Toby, please do us a favor. Tighten your jeans a bit. They're pretty low and loose. Ta-ta there, Reagan. Okay? So far, that's two for Tina. I mean, did you only pull <laughs> those? I, I didn't pull. Josh Zolo pulled emails okay. today. Hey, Trent and Krista. I'm writing in regards to the whole <laughs> Megan-Megan debate. I'm married to my super cum slut wife, Megan, <laughs> pronounced the right way. 
Megan. Oh. All the time people ask her how it's pronounced. I don't know why the fuck anyone would think it's pronounced Megan unless they are totally talked out of their mind. <laughs> Though there are many ways to spell this name, no matter how fucking stupid it gets, like the <laughs> whores whose parents decided to put the H in their child's name, it will only and always be pronounced Megan. Oh. So like usual, Christina, you are totally wrong. And our triple C <sighs> thick King Tom is right. Jeez. As always, keeping it high and tight. Piss on me and beat me, Justin from Jacksonville. Well, I am A, offended mm -hmm. and surprised, shocked. Yep. Mm -hmm. Have you changed your position on Megan? Are you still Here's one from a Megan herself. Let's hear it. She says, per your request, here is an explanation from Megan, as Tom pronounces. This has always been an internal debate my entire life. I think after 33 years, I have figured it out. First of all, the proper pronunciation is, in fact, Megan. But in Christina's defense... That's only because of how my name is spelled. Those poor, ignorant, cum-guzzling whores named Megan have different nonsense ways of spelling their, w their names, like M-A-G-A-N, the fuck is that? M-E-G-H-A-N, M-E-M-A-E-G-A-N. And I've even seen a M-E-E-G-A-N from oh, time to time, like goodness. the word me followed by again. So Megan is for the real bottom of the barrel <laughs> dumpster fire twats. If someone's name is spelled like mine and still pronounces it Megan, it just means they're illiterate, TikToked, R-worded, mentally handicapped. Most people, most often these types have so much crusty semen in and around their mouth, Jeez. it prevents them from speaking correctly. Now, being referred to by the less educated as Megan doesn't necessarily offend me because we can all be disgusting horror bags from time to time. I was a May gun in college. <laughs> it sometimes reminds me I'm still one of the cool guys. However, the responsible adult version of the name is, in fact, Megan. Big fan of the show. Love you God, both. I'm and all confused. of the YMH family. Keeping it high and tight and not being stingy. Megan. It's Megan. So to, we had, you know, listen. <laughs> Back and forth. I you understand. You would not believe how many emails came in. Came in? Wait that's, that's two milligram Tina talking. What are you saying right here, Nadav? So, uh, me and Annie were having lunch with Zolo the other day. Annie and I. Excuse me. <laughs> yes. Not and me uh, were Zolo lunch. was telling us about his friend Greg, mm -hmm. but he kept on calling him Greg. Oh, boy. Greg? Oh, Greg. boy. And he couldn't even hear the correction. <laughs> huh. Greg. 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 Oh. Greg. It's almost like Craig and Greg, Greg together. Craig? Craig. Greg. But he's saying Greg. Yeah, Greg. Hmm. That's no, got to be wrong. That's so wrong. It definitely is. I, I, Greg. I Why does he say it? Greg. Here, Can I I'll, yeah. Greg. That's just silly. That's, hey, what's up, Zolo? Are you there? Yeah. So what's your friend's name? Greg. Wow. <laughs> Greg. Yeah. But you, you don't say Greg? Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> let's hear it can you say it right can you say greg greg but you were saying Gre greg 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 say milk milk okay some people say milk well yeah. i was saying egg also. egg what egg. oh instead of egg an yeah. egg yeah an egg. An I think egg. I say is that, that like how your egg. parents pronounce it an egg maybe I, I don't know where i got it from but like egg. you know and how do you pronounce m-e-g-a-n I say Megan. Yeah. Could be a California thing. It might be, but yeah, I'm, I'm going to try to shift my pronunciation on those <laughs> from now on. Well, <laughs> I think that the jury's out on Megan Megan because we've got two in support well, of mine. Well, the jury's in on egg, so you yeah, can just know that for sure. <laughs> and Greg, yeah, Greg. Greg. Well, Greg's clearly Greg. Yeah. Hmm. I got it now. I mean, this kid's in college. He's still learning, you know? <laughs> I know. <laughs> He's not finished yet. Yeah, he's not. He didn't get his degree yet. Yeah. Watch. He's going to leave. He's going to graduate <laughs> and be like, I want to talk to all the Greg's eggs and Megan's out there. <laughs> he's going to know. I'm, I have all the confidence in the world. Yeah. 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 Hot topic. It's very hot. Very other... interesting. Especially in today's world. We cover the most important shit. How do you say B-U-F-F-E-T? Buffet. Yeah. I say buffet sometimes. You do? A buffet? That's, that's how Top Dog says it. Buffet? He's like, they got a buffet there. But uh, I wonder Great if... Great deal. But you he's can American. You keep going back and you can just keep eating <laughs> until you feel sick. I love buffet. Yeah. But is, buffet. It, is that improper to say buffet? Because your dad says that he's American. You can go to the buffet. 
It's not a, is it buffet, buffet? What do you say, Zolo? Buffet, buffet? I say buffet. Yeah, buffet. That, that sounds yeah. correct to me. Buffet. Okay. All right, I got something to show you. Okay. Oh, and also, I'll read this in a moment, but just so you know, I have an admirer. No. Yes. Tom, I'm jealous. I know. I'm your admirer. No, well, there's a, somebody else. She, there's some her. competition out no. there. No. I'm, I'm, I'm not yeah. shaking hands with anybody. Yeah, but... Uh, so don't, don't you, I don't like, I, what about me, don't you understand, I don't like you. Don't you fucking get it? <laughs> Poorness and dipshit rubs off. I wouldn't piss on your face if it was on fire. God damn, why is it so fucking hard for you to understand that? <laughs> I'm not bullshitting you. All I see is a thousand problems in the room. I, I don't see one fucking solution. There you go. Just a little damn pain to lift up your spirits today. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> because He's like your poorness and your loser is rubbed, rubbed off. off. On me. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I'm right. He's unbelievable. Well, is that it? There's That's no it. more. That's the clip. That's yeah. the clip. I've yeah. been following his Instagram account and it's just full of bangers like this. Oh, yeah. Shit is so, so funny, dude. This is something that I wasn't <laughs> sure of for a long time and now it's been confirmed. So let me remind you first of the Benadryl guy. If you don't know, okay. this was a big clip for us. The Benadryl guy. A lot of people 12. still still bring up Benadryl with every post. So <laughs> yeah. he definitely left an impact on people. Before you have sex, <laughs> if you want to be horny for two or three hours like you've never been in your life. No thanks. And you have access to marijuana too. Good weed. Listen to me. Uh -huh. True weed alone can get you really hornier than normal, but Benadryl. Take yeah. about 10, 12 Benadryl <laughs> before you want to have your sexual fun with your partner or whatever you do or masturbate. All right? Mm -hmm. So he, was, he, he goes on just to give great advice, but this clip then brought about other clips and he was just known as the Benadryl guy. I had heard last year that he died no and i and, and i didn't get this any guy yeah i didn't get any follow-up and now it's confirmed <laughs> oh he did he we, passed away are you serious yes we lost another ymh star i know oh. it's too bad we didn't get to know him at all um but because of the fact that he has since passed and we were able to locate his library of <laughs> of videos and messages we pulled one just to kind of honor the Benadryl guy. I think we should. Because he was, he was pretty cool. He brought so, so much joy. Found this one. Just um, oh, uh, rest in peace, Benadryl guy. Why would anybody want, want a girl around? I mean, all they do is talk a lot. And it doesn't even make any sense. They're not good at chess. They're not good at video games. All they do is talk a lot and show their, their gorgeous little body. And then they pretend like it's God's gift to the earth. And you can't touch it or have it. Well, who cares? The hell with them. The only thing they're good for is sex. A cat is good to hug and love and love forever. You're stupid enough to want to marry a stupid woman of any kind? Of this place? A human woman, man? Are you, are you out of your mind? All they do is make you horny and then they leave and that's it. That's all they've ever been good for. Go ahead and marry a dog or a cat, but don't marry a human woman. They smell bad everything. <laughs> they expect you to be uh, God's gift to them. And never give anything to you, do they? No, you gotta go out with them a hundred times, you never get to even know anything about them. To hell with them, they're stupid. They're women, they're human, especially American women, man. They don't even allow hookers. Why? Because, oh, it's so horrible. They could sell everything else and, and screw everybody, but Screwing and screwing people out of their money is a whole different thing, isn't it? Rest in peace, Benadryl guy. Gosh, I really wish I, I'd seen this video before because it really rounds out who the person is. We yeah. just thought he was the guy who liked to get super horny and for two hours and do Benadryl, but now, he now cool, he's very sad. He's so He lonely. does look good there. He looks good. This is one of his best looks. Yeah. 
The beard I mean, is trimmed. He's a sweet guy. He could have found a nice woman. You Got know, a nice chair. Yeah. <laughs> Good fan. There's a lot of box checked on this one. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, he's got that nice fold-up chair in the back, too. The girl could sit down there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here you Welcome over. Sit down on my fold-out chair. <laughs> yeah. This poor man. Well, yeah. I mean... Uh, rest in peace. Yeah. Rest in peace, Benadryl. Too bad that he's gone because he and I... Uh, <laughs> could have been friends. I got. I can't even look. Here's at the you. thing. I am married. Um, Dad, it's open. It's an it's open marriage. Not an open but, marriage. But all right. Well, we're working don't, out the details. We're working out the details. Don't but people pay people think that we're swingers and stuff because we joke like this and we're totally not. You have to stop saying this stuff. We're not <laughs> into that. So wait, do you like being married? Yeah. To a human woman? I do. I like cats more, but I like I like a human <laughs> woman. Yeah. Women are fucking stupid and they're not good for anything. But women cancel, Tom. But here's Misogyny. an email I got, and I I don't mean to make you jealous, but I just want you to know <laughs> this came into my inbox. And I'm kind of curious. I want to put out there a response. First I'll read you the email. This is unsolicited. What are you trying to do to me? I'm just saying this is unsolicited and I I haven't had it something like this happen to me. So I I feel like I should are you telling me that women don't constantly hit on you? Look, just let me read this email and then you can comment, okay? Here's what it says. Hello, how are you today? Strong open. Okay, that's, that's what I open my email and I see and I, I'm like, hmm, what is this, okay? Hello, how are you today? I am Mary, single woman, and you? I am looking for a man who is honest, faithful, loyal, sincere, caring, and loving man <laughs> who is willing to give me his love and heart. Hmm. Well, I'm a loving, caring, honest woman with average smarts, although not into games. I have morals looking for a man who is the same. I'm a man of his words. I can be independent, but looking to find someone I can rely on. This is my a email. You can message me or hit me on Google Hangout. She sounds like perfect. What do you huh? do? Do not do you. She sounds unsolicited. Perfect. I'm just getting messages like yeah, this. Yeah, but I don't, I'm so jealous. She sounds perfect. Why don't you go make sweet love to her then? Well. You like her so much. I'm just saying, Mary. Mary. Photos of her. Oh, they are? Oh, oh she, she sent a picture. Well, I'm jealous. I don't want to see me. this Excuse me, I forgot slut. that. She better be oh, something special writing Let's to see. my husband like this. Who do you think you are, bitch? I'm sure this is definitely her. I'm gonna claw her face out. Oh my god, seriously. What? There's there's no way <laughs> that this girl is not the one who wrote the email. Of course. That's the same lady. Her English looks That's her. It she's, is her. And, and she's probably God, she's desperately perfect. sending unsolicited emails to just r to men across the world, you know? Oh, I I can't compete with her, Tom. Do you do you you are not. Do you do? Do you do? Do are you here you for do, games? Are you here for games? Um, she's not the author. Something tells me she's not the author of that letter. Oh wait, did we get an email about the coach slapping? It, it, we did. Oh, I did hear. Yeah. Can I see what it is? Sure. Because I'm so curious. This is a video that came in last week. Let's see here. If you guys missed it. Yeah. I respect his Adidas suit. That's the newer one. Newer. Okay. So we got the translation. This is a coach and what he <laughs> says as he's slapping those players is I'll kill all you bastards. You motherfucking faggots. I fuck all of your pussies. I fuck your mouths and faces, you brats. Cool. What is this disgrace? That is your Turkish translator, uh, Zenyep Ozkan. Thank you very much for that translation. Zenyep. And that is a lovely message. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. <laughs> you love abusive coaches. I That's do one love. That's your favorite language. I love it. Yeah. It is one of my absolute favorite languages. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Probably because your parents never talked to you this way. You think so? Yeah. When you have someone in your family that does this shit to you, you're like, that's good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. You, uh, don't, you don't like that. Nah, this is like every Eastern Blocker parent. 
calling you an F word. <laughs> just be like, you fucking, yeah, of course. It's terrible. Oh, it looks like there's something I should bring to your attention. Yeah. Before we break here. I'm yeah. excited. It's an old clip from our show. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What would be a better um, celebration of this podcast mm. than if legitimately in episode 400, we can get you to open up your eyes, open up your heart, open up your mind, and ultimately open up your mouth mm-hmm. to lick my rear end. Never. It's never going to happen. Can you just, but can you just for this episode. No. No. For the episode, can you entertain the idea? Listen, if we have doctors write in, if, if somebody can assure me in the medical community listening that it would not result in me getting hepatitis or some horrific disease, then yeah, go good. ahead. Look how full my hair was. Excuse back me. Then. then yeah, go ahead. I mean, I'm I'm just marveling at how good I looked. Excuse was I me. Pregnant here? Excuse me. I think I was pregnant. You're you're. Yeah, sorry, I was. You said you would if, if the doctors sign was. off on it. Yeah. So? Can't even grow my hair that long anymore. Excuse me. What? You said you would. If a doctor <laughs> signed off that you wouldn't get hepatitis. Which doctor signed off on that? You said if doctor. Who would. did? No doctor signed off on it. What do you mean? We just have to ask the doctors to write in. The doctors. Uh, can Any I doctor can I have me? a doctor of my choosing? Sure. Sure. Well, but here's the deal, man. Will you Groom back there. I'm, yeah. a, I'm afraid of licking hair. Yeah. yeah. No, I want I'll it get professionally smooth. Waxed. I'll get professionally waxed. If you wax it, yeah. and I can have a letter from Dr. Drew, can we call him right now? Ask Dr. Drew. Ask him. If it's if I can't get any kind of disease from- Why don't you call him? My phone, the boys have it for lunch. Okay. If I cannot get a disease, hepatitis or- Fecal to oral bacterium. Then you'll do it. I will strong. I mean, look, you have me on tape. If it's something you really, you really want. Yeah. You really want this. Mm-hmm. I'm going to hold your head down there. You didn't mention that part. Well, that's just going to come. You didn't it. mention that part that you can hold my head down there. <laughs> How will we do it? Will you be in the baby, <laughs> the happy baby with your legs pulled back? Yeah. Or will you make you bend over and push no, my no. face in there no, like no, a no. dog? No, <laughs> in the change my die die position. <laughs> <laughs> that is so vile. I'm going to get it all waxed and clean for you and you'll have a doctor's note. I promise. And you can bring the note. I'm and scared. you can say you can go, the doctor said I was supposed to come here and, and get my medicine. And I'll be like, Oh yeah, yeah. I'll be the pharmacist. Here's your medicine right here. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure licking a bee hole Just is gonna stop give wondering. Stop. Fine, call Drew. I will. How about we take a break? Call him. We let him know because we I call him from this line. Just let him know that a phone call's coming. Okay? Make sense? Let's take a break. You'll eat my ass soon. We'll be right back. This episode of Your Mom's House is also brought to you by Hims. Look at my bald head. It is too late, but it doesn't have to be too late for you. 66% of men begin to lose their hair by age 35. Yep. And once you've started noticing that thinning hair can be too late, the best way to prevent more hair loss is to do something about it while you still have some. As soon as you notice it, you need to act. And what do you need to do? You go to 4 the one-stop shop for hair loss, skin care, and sexual wellness for men. It's time to write a new chapter, one in which you have hair. There are no snake oil pills or gas station counter supplements. These are prescription solutions backed by science. Consult with a real medical professional and get real medical solutions. Today, Hims is giving you their best offer yet. If you're not happy with the results after 90 days, Hims will give you a full refund. And right now, our listeners can get their first visit absolutely free. Go to 4 slash mom. That's 4 slash mom. Full refund of price paid available for first 90-day supply. Refund requests must be made between 90 and 180 days after products have been delivered. Prescription products require an online consultation with a medical professional who will determine if a prescription is appropriate. Restrictions apply. See website for full details and safety information. But remember, that's for hymns.com slash mom. You know, you know what happens. You're watching your favorite streaming service and you finish binge watching that series. And now what? What do you do with your life? You're bored again. Not anymore. Download Best Fiends. You can download it for free on your phone. 
And do you know it has over 100 million downloads, this 100 game? million downloads? Yeah, and I am hooked. I love it. I play it um, when my children are running around in the backyard. And <laughs> I'm on level 76 now. You're moving along. I'm moving on up. And I like the colors. I like characters. I like sounds. The sounds are great. Of I course. mean, it sounds silly, but I'm a I'm a grown ass mom, and I love Best Fiends. Hey, nothing wrong with that. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. I think you should give it a try. It's good because it's not too hard, and it's not like too easy. So you're always engaged, and they update the game constantly. Download Best Fiends for free today on the Apple App Store or Google Play. That's friends without the R. Best Fiends. And we are back with a very handsome and talented <laughs> performer. Uh, you maybe have listened to his uh, music. You may have watched his YouTube videos. Were incredibly entertaining. You may have seen him on tour. It's the very, very talented and funny Mark Rabillet. Oh, oh shit! Oh. Well done, Tom. Yes, you like well that? Well done. Yeah. How was your Rabier. French, by the way? Uh, it's exceptional. It is. It's exceptional. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, well, it's not exceptional, but it's it's conversational. I'm, oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah I'm, I'm half French, dual citizen. You're a dual what? citizen. Yeah. That's one of the dopest <laughs> dual citizenships you can yeah. have. Yeah. It is. It yeah. is. I mean, it's all of the EU. I I couldn't do UK now, could I? I don't think I, I think no, they you're, left. You're, yeah. you're about. Yeah. That's it. If it's, it's over. If it's not. Right. Over, it's about to be. Yeah, yeah. Fuck. I mean, they were on their way out. That's yeah. Was all, and it's going to be real fun for trade and travel. <laughs> right. It's going to be great. Everything in Europe. <laughs> it's really yeah. going to be great. Yeah, I did a tour there last year, and, and that it had already been you know voted on, and they yeah. were like, you will not, this will be a burden next time. Like, Jesus. to come in and to leave and everything. Just like, Jeez. enjoy this now. Enjoy this now. Yeah. yeah. What a oh, world. Oh, well. Dude, we yeah, have... I have French envy a little bit. I'll just admit I do it. I too. You know? But you're you know what it Spanish, is? Spanish, right? I am, but it's that you guys... The French are are a little aloof, and 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 it's like a club that yes. that didn't want you to come in. That's so then exactly you're like, right. Then you're like, oh, I want to be in. Yeah, and then <laughs> yeah. you know, well, and they're I, like they're one of the hesitant. only. They're very bitter, bitter. And if you like, um, you know how like in a lot of places, if you travel, if you're like, um, uh, uh buongiorno. And you, they're they're like good try, and, yeah. they, no, and then the French are French. like, please don't try. Yeah, they're <laughs> like Jesus Christ, what are you doing? <laughs> they'll correct you over and over. Oh yeah, and like, yes, because I, if I know anything from watching Emily in Paris on Netflix, <laughs> <laughs> that's where I've done my research. Uh, yes, yeah. can I? Can I? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, absolutely, make yeah. yourself comfortable. Be very comfortable. It's nice. that the French are not very welcoming of her. Oh God, yeah. They're now, not. Who is that's L Lily Collins? I don't know she, her name. She's gorgeous and she she's is fun. Gorgeous. And but how do you? So how do you make friends with other French people? Do you just? I generally don't. Oh, yeah. generally to oh. also do your that. English voice is like broadcast worthy. You know oh, yeah? that? Yeah, you have like coming a, up next dude, wow. on your mom's house, right? I mean, it's it's wow. kind of freaky. And then, <laughs> yeah. You've got the whole look. Like the announcer. It's the decade of smoking, I think. That's what it is. Yeah. And that's a very French way of explaining it. Yeah. <laughs> I smoke, I live life. I smoke what? Yes. <laughs> what do you want from me? <laughs> <laughs> you don't smoke. Are you one of these people who can't say? But you don't smoke. So stupid. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> but the French do have something in that their culture is pretty rad. Like food's great. It sure it's is. A, yes. Paris is gorgeous. The yes. language is gorgeous. The people are gorgeous. I went like, into full it fantasy. It's true. In, in Paris last year. So I had this run, you know, like 10 city run. Yeah. And I had two days in Paris and the whole time, like I would go on walks and be like, yeah, you know, I could, I could move here. I could, <laughs> you were I could do that. Like I, you're talking to yourself. You're like, I could, I could, this, this is something <laughs> yeah. I could do. Like yeah. that whole time you're there. You're just like, I, it's like a magical place. It really is. I, I lived there for a year. I was extremely poor and it's just like, Oh. Just not a good way to live. It's hard there. when you're no. broke. That's like New York City living. Poor. Exactly, it's, it's the, the worst. Same. It's just like it fucking sucks. Yeah, I remember going to New York uh, in my early twenties. Yeah, and do you know, like when you live in other parts of the country, and you're like, I'm going to travel. I I have three hundred dollars for where I'm going, <laughs> yeah. and you're like, I'm that's go take fine. A trip. And then in New York, you're like, I had lunch and it's over. Yeah. Like, same, in, over. same in Paris. I can't even yes. go home. No, I can't afford to like, go home. It's oh such a bummer. Yeah. I went to Paris in the late 90s in college. Oh, yeah. And I couldn't afford like a baguette and a Coke. I remember yeah. that's like 20 euro. <laughs> I remember, it's like I'm not prepared you know, for the this. bar always changes for like the uh, the price of what is the beginning, like the entry level expensive hotel room. And like 20 years ago, if you traveled most of North America, uh, you would say $300, right? $300. Oh if you're like, that's God. a $300 hotel room. That meant 
like a five star hotel. Right. Right. Yeah. right. And I remember staying I was like, I'm staying in a three hundred dollar hotel room in New York and it <laughs> was a fucking dump. Yeah. Like Shrooches. I was like, Did I get the wrong hotel? And yeah. they were like, No, no, no. This you only have three hundred dollars. <laughs> so this is why you stay here. Yeah. And I was like, uh-uh. this lead you into the cellar. It was it's yeah. so bad. And yeah. I remember shopping and I was like, How much are nice hotels? And they were like fifteen hundred dollars a night and i was like what i didn't even i couldn't wrap my head around i was like who has that i know who has that to spend the night somewhere i didn't <laughs> yeah. understand and even those nice rooms in new york are teeny tiny yeah they are they are they're like yeah. beautifully done they're yeah. decorated they're well designed but they're cu- little cubicles yeah you know? when was your year there uh, uh like in college like abroad a year abroad it, it was after college i dropped out of college and oh then, you did yeah and i was i like worked a few jobs and broke up with a girl and felt shitty about it and i was like i i could and like a coworker of mine was like you know dude you can just like you have citizenship you can just like move yeah over there you just like do that. So great. It's like, oh shit, you're right. I was like 22, maybe. And your both your parents are from France. Is My right? dad is or was. Rest <sighs> rest in power. Um, so rest you yeah, rest in power. So did he look? Did pops um, do the thing? Were you born in the states? I uh, yeah, I was born in the, I was born in Texas. But he right away reached out like to the consulate or whatever and was like, it's I it's like a birth. Oh, right they don't even care. Thing? Yeah. I think I just like had or I had it. Yeah, and have it. But I guess you have to like get the passport, but. I just think by birth I'm a citizen. That's it. I think. That's yeah. crazy. Great. To check with my mom. But so yeah. when you get when you so your mother's American though. Yeah, she's from South Carolina. So like real white lady. Super white lady. Yeah. Who speaks beautiful French. Be- wow. Oh, she has a great ear. Like she oh, developed wow. the accent. And, and did everything. they did right. they get to know yeah. each other in France though or in the states? The, yeah, she met him in Paris. Like oh, it's perfect. Total fucking slimy romance story yeah. where she was at like Place de l'Opéra and stopped uh you know my dad was like rolling through in a car she asked for a cigarette he asked her to dinner oh to wow dinner right. and then they like walked around paris and kissed over the sun and everything i was like <gasps> yes that's like our story that's exactly what yeah. happened <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what happened you were smoking I, a cigarette when i met you yeah oh yeah she was uh, outside on, the cat club on the and sunset she had, like, strip oh really nets on, and i was like mm-hmm. i'll give you 60 bucks if you come around the <laughs> back side of this building that is so sweet. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's just so And adorable. I was like, mm-hmm. Madame, bonsoir. Yeah. <laughs> Bouncer, <laughs> get out of here. Yeah, that was really One sweet. One time, okay, I remember this from my first time in Paris. I went, I've been to Paris, what, three times, I think. Yeah. The first time I went, I went to uh, the Notre Dame. I've been Ooh, there. Which Notre is Dame. Now, well, almost lost it recently. Yes. I know, yes. I know. Shoot. And then uh, Homeboy, LVHM, donated like $800 million. Like <laughs> the richest guy in France was like, I'll fix it. Yeah. And he <laughs> gave him, like, which is amazing. Yeah. But so we, this is back before the Euro, right? Mm. So this is like everyone has their own currency. I yeah. Think. And so we're, you, when you leave, there's like a, there's basically a gift shop and I mean, it's all Americans in line, and this guy's like, uh, I would, you know, puts his stuff there, and the lady goes, 40. And he goes, uh, dollars? And she goes, sir, we are in France. <laughs> we speak French, and we use francs. Why would it be dollars? And, it's a perfect answer. And he's like, I that mean, I just, I'm just trying to get it. I don't <laughs> even know. Was it bucks? What? Yeah. Yeah. That's the answer you're going to get from any French store owner, yeah. Yeah. shopkeeper. Makes sense, well, it's though. as well, anything. It's as insane as somebody coming here and being yeah, like, be like was this, uh, <laughs> are you doing pesos or what are we doing? Like, no, dude, this is the United <laughs> States. The what the fuck yeah. are you talking about? Yeah. It's so insulting. One thing this I did love about the French is the men are very forthright. They're very aggressive almost I mean, to an uncomfortable degree i mean i dig it i, I was yeah. like i got off <laughs> yeah. i took the channel from london mm. and i i was in like this the train station just sitting on my suitcase like yeah. i just got to paris and mm. it was like oh, la, la, madame, la, 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 and they were all <laughs> just swarming around me and i was like oh no pierre <laughs> okay but no yeah, lucky. yeah so you were hooking back then too uh, <laughs> Nothing like the Italians, though. The Italians, I... Oh, my God. The Italians are like, what is rape? (laughs) (laughs) But, oh, I like you. No, no is different in English. I don't understand. (laughs) I mean, like, like actual kissing. Like, come up and kiss somebody. (laughs) Which, like, (laughs) now you're like, you can't do that. And they're like, what? (laughs) 
Why? I she's love a, you. Or she's a beautiful woman. Like yeah. they I straight love you already. Yeah. heckle yeah. women. Like, eh. Ciao, bella, bellissima. Yes. <laughs> I'm making love to you. Look at my ass. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> and what does my dad call the Italians? The cockroaches of Europe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 they really are. <laughs> He's Hungarian, and he was. I used to explain this because I would say it on stage. Oh yeah. And then, like, sometimes people would be like, "Jesus!" And I was like, "Look, he was in an Italian internment camp yeah. for a uh. year. So, like, it's it's like when you're a prisoner of war, but like, you're always gonna be like, fuck those people.' Yeah. <laughs> so, because he escaped Hungary and went there, and they housed uh. a bunch of Hungarians, but in a camp, you know. Yeah. yeah. So I'm sure he's not like. No, really? he lived. They lived in Italy for that year before they yeah. escaped, or they got uh, whatever a pass to go to Canada. Oh shit! So yeah, yeah, but everyone Escaping knows it. Everyone knows the cockroach. Everyone knows cockroaches. <laughs> I don't know. That's one man's yeah. opinion. Yeah, but yeah. That's I, my dad. My dad. I mean, he was like very French his whole life, and that was part of like. I love it. I think it's part of the fucking why Italians. he was this fucking Italians, yeah. dude. They. they Fuck up this the currency, <laughs> inflation. They don't, they don't clean. Rome's a fucking mess. It's Walking around hot. raping people in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? I hope we At get on some. At least the French have an elegance. We need to, to get them. on an Italian hate radar. You know? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Well, that's so funny. Uh, well, anyway, I'm not going to get into this. But uh, so what was he like? Because I, I see this. I follow a French TikToker and he makes fun of his French mother. Oh. And the mother is always like, you know, he's pretending that she's smoking. Like, yeah. you should really lose 10 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, like, my God. Dude, I'm that... drinking champagne again for breakfast yeah. and the smoking and what the fuck, you know, like. Totally that. 100% that. A little less like laissez faire. He was much more, he's like a higher energy dude, but he was in fashion his whole life. And he would always be like, You look like shit. Let me fix this. And do this. <laughs> like, you look like a homeless person. I <laughs> just love come it. up to you and just tell you that you look like a homeless person. That's and he'd hilarious. do that. He'd pull your collar out, pull it down. He'd take something from his closet, put a fucking ascot on you, and then uh. it's like, Okay, that's good to know around. You know, uh. This is this. Walk away. Yeah, he was just very That's much awesome, dude. He was the shit. I mean, it and it was always and was done. He, well, did he always look amazing? Like, always. Yeah. Like mm. at breakfast, flawless. Like, what the fuck, man? Flawless, fully dressed, and he would do it. I mean, you know, he would do it to you with this panache and charm that would make you. I, I, I do look like a homeless person. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Fix me. Fix me. Fix me. Yeah. Yeah. So did, was, by the way, you're very fashionable. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. I was going to say, you got that. You must have picked that up from him, obviously. I'm repping yeah. Russ and Daughters. Yeah. I'm repping New York and then got these the stupid shoes? little cosmopolitan shoes. But yeah, I don't know. It's my it's my little I th- homage to him. Of course. I love yeah. it. I think yeah. the foreigners are also more direct. Play, like my oh. family, <laughs> which is from For sure. South Always. America. Yeah. Like... You know, my mom definitely is much, much more direct than my dad, oh, right, who's okay. American. It's the, it's the opposite in my house. My yeah. dad's American. But, like, you go down there, I mean, my whole life, they would just be like, why are you fat? <laughs> and I was like, what? <laughs> and they're like, why? Yeah, totally. You don't have to be fat. And I'm like, I, I just got here. I don't want to. Is this Like, really? I just arrived. Hello. Yeah. yeah. Can I take a nap or we, something? We do. Always. It's a very different thing. Like, we have this, we just have this desire to be we like platitudes we like social yeah gentle social etiquette Mm -hmm. for some reason that's just not really a thing i think it's because we're from the english oh you know what that's a good point so we're like english light i never thought about that english are very conscious of embarrassing or being embarrassed right so they're very it's very polite and there's you don't show emotion right stiff upper lip all that so maybe we adapted some of that and the puritans yeah we're very polite. We don't like it's to It's like the Japanese are like the, the far end yeah. yes. of that. And then the English. And then us. <laughs> yeah. And then the Italian. Canadians French, somewhere are in there. Canadians oh, are yeah, super polite. Oh, you're right. Polite. Canadians have got to be before yeah. us, right? Yeah, they're way nicer than us. Yeah. They're way nicer. Better. Oh God, way better. Way so, better people so, oh, than Jesus, us. Jesus, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> also, um, and Hungarians, I know um, my father ha- had a, a completely disdain for the way Americans dress in public. Yeah. Oh, really? He's like, oh, this is so disgusting. <laughs> Everybody's in fucking blue jeans. Yeah. Going to <laughs> going to court dressed in shorts and blue jeans <laughs> or going to the doctor not dressed up. So oh, my parents was like, like yeah. oh, are yeah. you crazy? Jesus. Go show some respect. You're well, going I did, to the doctor. Uh, <laughs> I did a semester in Madrid 
Oh. And uh, I lived with a this old lady and her son who was, <laughs> it, I was 21 and he was, you know, in his 40s. Yeah. And he would come for, for a lot of like lunches, you know, the lunch is a big thing, right? So right. he would come by and he was like, he's like, you look nice, but uh, so many Americans, they look like shit, you know? <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> yeah, he's like, he would just be like, why? Why? <laughs> Why do you dress like this? Explain. And explain like, the I don't American know. population. He's like, a t-shirt. Do you sleep in a t-shirt? Mm-hmm. Don't wear it out. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. I can't explain it. I, parents... But the truth is, I like, I like being around well-dressed people. Yeah. I don't like the effort myself. No. But I like, appreciate it. Okay. When I was in London, like you know, you're walking around London, and you oh, see all these like bespoke beautiful. suits. I'm like, this looks yeah. great. I fucking love but it. like, I'm not gonna go yeah. to one. <laughs> <laughs> I love the whole thing. I love the whole getting everything ready and putting you know the colors and yeah. layers and sh- i just like it yeah it's a fa- i guess it's it must be from my dad uh, for sure know. i'm sure it is and i think it ends up yeah. being like it's ultimately a very positive thing because it's like your self you know like value and self-perception yeah and, and then it ref- people remember you that way it's like know? a decoration you're like yes. decorating yourself yeah so true put some fucking put some shit on yourself but you'll even do things right. in robes you know yes like, yeah Yes. So that's the fashion statement in and of itself. And it's very comfortable. Very yeah. comfortable. Very comfortable. And it just looks like whoever's in a robe that's not home has to be a baller. <laughs> like <laughs> unless you're just like walking in on a sidewalk in public. Yeah, that's I feel true. like that's a problem. That's, that's the just... only place where you're like you're either mentally ill or a billionaire. <laughs> right? like, yeah. yeah. Well, I think LA has um the the homeless rich person aesthetic they do like yes. in la the more hobo you look just the means richer you're super you probably baller. are yeah. yeah it's actually really lame in la to and dress it almost rich. feels it's intentional it's like i'm going yeah. to i'm gonna get i'm just gonna dress shittier and shittier mm-hmm. yeah to to exemplify my wealth yeah yeah you know it's i don't give a fuck there's even like, like you know there's like <laughs> cool dress down but then there's like dorky dress down yeah, right and like you'll see rich people like that like <laughs> i was in a public place with a friend and i was like do you know who that is over there to my to their friend and he was like who and i was like that's the ceo of this like of very well known and he was like really i go absolutely yeah and he had like socks his shorts on socks pulled up like halfway <laughs> up his leg you know, like dad sneakers, stained T-shirt. I'm like, that guy is a fucking like multi, like hundreds Sad. of millions of dollars. <laughs> yes. And he's it's like, he looks really like shit. And I was like, yeah, thing. yeah, yeah. It's like you don't have to care, but then there's another there's layer another level. that I'm just like yeah. you're purposefully fucking your shit up. It's very bizarre. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Yeah, it's interesting. I guess it's almost like a flex, right? Before you go out, <laughs> yeah. it is this a is soft good. flex. <laughs> like everybody is flex. like yeah. trying is. to look like they're worth more, and then right. it's like you could become so wealthy that you're like, I'm not trying to make anyone think. Yeah, that. like it's like the yep. opposite, right? <laughs> right. You have to, like, uh, I talked to a wealthy person one time who said he goes, "I'm post rich." <laughs> <laughs> <Huh? laughs> Which I thought was really funny. Just living. We were talking it. about watches. I was like, "What do you have on?" And he was like. Um, he had like an eye watch. And I was oh. like, oh, you don't have like a, he's like, oh no, no, I'm past that. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, I don't have to show people yeah. anything anymore. Jesus Christ, dude. Yeah. Mm. It's another world for these people. Yeah. Now, how are the French so fucking skinny and you guys have the best food? I think, I don't know. That, yeah, that's the thing is like our, the food is drenched in duck fat yeah. and yeah. butter. And tons of sugar. And garlic, and garlic yeah. sugar. But the thing is, I think they do, they, you know, it's portions, man. Yeah. It's portions. It's portions. Yes. It's like knowing when to eat. It's like everything. They don't snack. They don't snack, but they also mm. like you go, if you're like with authentic French eating, like something's very rich. And yeah. Like you have a few bites and that's it. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. right. Where right. we're like, how many bowls of it come? <laughs> and they're like, bowls? <laughs> You're Here's supposed to have another two bites. Buca di Beppo. We yeah. got your family pasta. Yeah. It's all you can eat pasta this week. Yeah. You shouldn't do that. It's, it's not good for you. Absurd. Oh my God. My favorite appetizer. Will you Google Nadav calories in the Awesome Blossom? Oh my God. Oh, dude. That, do you where, remember? Is that at uh, Outback? Outback. The it's out, that's the fucking. The it's a best. fried butter <laughs> onion. That's how many true. calories? I'll look at the screen. How many I'm how many gonna calories? I'm going to say. 11 do, do outbacks <laughs> close 11 50 okay i'm gonna go okay. oh it might be called the blooming onion the the bl- that's <gasps> it blooming oh my god okay. oh my are you ready god turn your head to the left <laughs> jesus fucking christ <laughs> what 
too. The article says Outback's Blooming Onion has a truly terrifying amount of calories. <laughs> what the fuck? 3,080. Three which thousand. Should, it's should an be appetizer. Noted. Yeah, it should it's be noted that is more than half of what your daily intake should yeah. be no, for most Americans. That's my day. That's, dub, that's yeah. over I can't eat that's that much. a time and a half. Yeah. yeah. What you should be having, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yes, you're right. What is it, 2,000? 2,000 is like the for average woman? intake. You right. Know, for, yeah. But I mean, obviously. It, a it's a sliding blue, scale. A but that's a lot. It's so good too. Fucking it's absurd name. so good. I so what feel, they like can, butterfly an onion and then yes. they just toss it in butter fried and, and, and they and fry it and then you dip it in a mayonnaise <laughs> yeah. sauce and it's the best <laughs> thing you've ever. You feel eaten. your body shift yeah. like while you're eating it. You're like things are slowing down. <laughs> You feel your heart <laughs> just yeah. slow, like glug, glug, slow, glug, glug. For me too, that's just like automatic diarrhea I, just, like, I would just eat yeah. that and be like i'm gonna shit here on the floor right now. i've been doing a lot of tacos <laughs> here because it's why I'm, yeah. I'm in los angeles yeah yeah it's just a real it's just a but where are you it's going but pro it's a but it's thing. a butt issue for sure yeah. but issue of course it's a catastrophe especially <laughs> it's if you're doing we did um jesus trejo's show oh yeah and what was it called? Tacos, tacos con, 1986. Yeah, tacos, oh. tacos or con tacos con todo. todo. Yeah. Oh. And we, we that day we ate at tacos 1986. Right, because we're filming the show, so oh. it's taking us yeah. to different locations. Do a bunch of tacos, bro. Oh, yeah. The Fuck. next morning, it was like Tom was on the, on the upstairs commode. I was on the downstairs, and we were Just like, shitting. "What is?" It? We Just texted each other constantly. And then we were texting Jesus, like, "Hey man, Hell fuck yeah. your show. <laughs> <laughs> you just ruined my asshole." I did a tacos arabes. Yeah, yes, we, we went there too. Ooh, we went there too. The Where they do, it's on a spit. Yes. And they yeah. shave the shit off. It's amazing, right? Dude, unbelievable. And yeah. then the other one where they where they fry it and they give you the 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 um it's like a what the word is right there. It, it, Crackling? It's no, it's a sauce. It's a it's it's a, like the dripping sauce. Oh, they fry the shit. Good. And then you Al pastor? Dip it. No. Yeah, but I think it, that might be in there. Al arabe. Um, uh, no, uh, 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 birria. Birria. Oh. birria. Okay. Damn. They honey. fry it. It's fucking incredible. It's basically like they're just doing the same thing 10 different ways. Love Either it. way you get it, it's fried. You dip it in like a. What's the word? But it's it's a dripping. They give you a but a cup. I, love it. I don't know. Drippings. I want to drink it right now. Dripping. Yeah. I would drink it. And Europeans love their drippings. The Hungarians, you keep the my jus. keep yes the, the duck jus. fat, and he would spread it on his toast. Mm. Duck fat on everything. Uh, foie gras. Foie gras. Why do you say it? How do you say foie gras? How do you say it? Foie gras. Foie. Gras. I can't. Sometimes gras. I give you the full roll. But foie? yeah, foie gras. gras. I had it's a French teacher. Liver. I love yeah. it. I had a French foie? teacher who <laughs> would like. You would say like, <laughs> you'd say foie gras, and then she'd yeah. be like, no, no, foie gras, <laughs> and then I'd be like, oh, I'm sorry, foie gras, she's no, like, no, 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 you're not listening, no, 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 foie gras, there it is, yeah, foie gras, you gotta really gotta sal salivate the yeah. back, no, you that's are, it, you are stupid and you are not listening, yeah, what <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, okay, I'm sorry, <laughs> did you guys really invent um, French kissing. It's mm. <laughs> <laughs> a good Three question. Three ways and stuff. Is yeah. that true? Uh, yeah, we did. We did. Yeah, we did that. We did it. <laughs> They're the first ones. They're like, we were using our tongues. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then. And... <laughs> Tom, show me, show me you like me. Oh yeah, this is a cool thing. If you're, <laughs> if you're watching and you're wondering, like, how can I send a woman a signal to let her know? <laughs> that I like her, <laughs> but without being like too overt yeah. and without being too subtle, what right. you do is you look at her, right? Stare at her a little bit, make her notice you, and then just real quick you go yeah. like that. <laughs> and it works every time. I've wanted to do <laughs> And now just I the ask one, him. Just a, yep, yeah, real and now, quick. That's there you it. go, you got oh, it. it. So then I she's like, like, what was that? I did, I wanted to do, <laughs> I would just love to go to like a Best Buy and just, just, uh, Holler at, at at an associate. Miss, pardon me, ma'am. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> she will head to the break room can. immediately. You can. You can do yeah. this. Yeah, I don't think you it's a good should. move. That story right look. away. Should be like, there is a guy in TVs right now, <laughs> and he just wiggled his tongue at yeah, me. He just. <laughs> but I, I like the combo of your two together. Oh, two. Can well, you... we could probably go to as a team. We effort. could approach a woman together. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, I know. 
Uh-huh. That's the thing is like one of us could like <laughs> do it and then as soon as that woman turns away, the other guy is there and she's <laughs> she like turns away. Oh my god. T- <laughs> and then you <laughs> Oh my god. The Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Guy, one guy stuck his tongue out and the other guy wiggled his tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Could you imagine seeing And then if you're that like, public, if that woman told me die. that, I'd be like, sounds like guys like you. I mean, <laughs> ten, yeah. What's the problem? Yeah. Sounds like you're hot. What's yeah, the problem, right. bitch? Do you not like getting licked or you something? Don't like <laughs> you don't like positive male attention, you stupid bitch? There you go. God. Yeah. yeah. Don't leave the house dressed like that. Yeah. yeah. But my favorite thing Shouldn't to do. Shouldn't have been walking outside. Yeah, the fuck yeah. is wrong right. with you? Is that I ask Tom from time to time, like, show me you're attracted to me. Yeah. Show me you like me. And then you do it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's a cool. I found a cool chick. It's very rare. Uh, very a lot of times rare. there's cool guys out there, and when yeah. I say cool guys, um, I mean it a hundred percent. But if you throw throw on your headphones, and I'll show you a very cool girl. Let me can up. Uh, can up, and this girl uh, we found. Like I said, usually yeah, it'll be, on this, it'll be on okay. this screen. Usually it is almost exclusively men that you find making <laughs> messages like this. Yeah. It's very rare find to find a woman. Yeah. Oh. I'm convinced one day that I'm going to become a serial killer. <laughs> Want me to explain why? I'll explain. Every single person in my life, I have thought about how I would kill them, and I've done my, like, due diligence to make sure I could get away with it. <laughs> and I'm not just talking about, like, think about it. Like, I've actually planned it out to the teeth. If someone cuts me off in traffic, I'm not the type to just yell at them or flick them off and just let them go on. No, no, no. (laughs) No. (laughs) I will follow you. I will follow you. And if you stop, I will stop. And it it, it can get heated and very, very aggressive and very dangerous. (laughs) And I don't listen or watch murder, like, podcasts or TV shows about it or anything like that. You are the podcast. Yeah. Be like, oh my god! No, I do it simply because I'm like, oh, that's amazing, and I like compliment serial killers, and I'm like, mm-hmm. just give me an idea. <laughs> we on it. Okay, Hannah Hutchinson. Yeah, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. Hannah for, Hutchinson. Uh, for any law enforcement listening, that's <laughs> at Hannah R. Hutchinson <laughs> on TikTok. Okay. I know you guys like the show. Yeah. Shout I, out to the men in blue. Go the ahead. little <laughs> pauses are mm, uh, the yeah. little. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I like. <laughs> oh, her TikTok has been taken down since. Really? Bad, she bad. Took her account down. Yeah, Jesus. Well, Christ. I'm guessing that a couple followers were like, hey, Hannah. <laughs> 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 I don't know if you know how this comes across, but. First of all, big fan. Big, big yeah. fan. But. <laughs> Here's the, here's the kind of added freakiness to this kind of thing. She's kind of cute, you know? She's really yeah, cute. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's an attractive person. And I do feel you have a lot in common with her. I like her. I feel like, like a kindred spirit. Right. Yeah. Following, yeah. following people I've home. been following women home in the pandemic because it's a thrill. Yeah. It's an activity. It's something right. to do that's fun, you know? I do. I leave messages in their house. Yeah. I, you know, I... I, I find kidding? things that they picked up in the grocery store and put back and I buy it for them and I go, you forgot this. Yeah. And I leave them a note. <laughs> leave them right on the door. Yeah, I'm like, you didn't buy this. And yeah. then they're like, what the fuck? And then like, <laughs> I go home. A big yeah. smile on your face. I care yeah. about you. I, I care. care about you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is terrifying. Oh, Jesus wow, Christ. Wow, she's, she is cool though. I do like her. Yeah. Yeah, no, she's great. She's great. I, I didn't, I didn't see anything wrong with that. Um, um, have you seen this God. video that's been passed around the last week or so uh. this guy who just got in a like he just got beat up and he's putting out it's wild no ah right, man y'all just don't know man <gasps> oh my motherfucking gun wasn't in that phone shop bow 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 blast me a nigga man oh man my baby mama hope hope for that shit man <laughs> hold me while I let that nigga whoop my motherfucking ass man and to my niggas, I was calling y'all a while ago, man. Y'all didn't want to come through and help me. I got some for you niggas, man. I swear to God. You niggas say, come on my house to play mad no more, man. I swear to God, I'm going to stop that shit. <laughs> I mean, this goes on and on. Really? Niggas really needed you. Y'all wasn't even down for a nigga. I did everything for you niggas. Feel like job applications. Everything, man, for y'all niggas. Man, even when I got that job, a piece of her nigga. Get that bitch flipping oh. dough, nigga. Pepperoni. That's how y'all do me. Wait, is he pepperoni? I, I don't know. <laughs> pepperoni. This is, this is so good. This this really would make like an awesome monologue. You know what I mean? It's right. So good. It's so it's God, man, my baby mama, man. When her and that nigga get the finger for weed and shit, man, them motherfuckers go crazy, man. 
gonna jump on me and shit. Y'all look at my motherfucking face, man. My dog was looking in the window while I was getting my ass beat. I couldn't even do nothing about this shit. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. Dude, it's just actively it. bleeding. No. No. Yeah. You couldn't write this down. Like the Pizza so Hut, you guys Beautiful. can't come play Madden anymore. Like it's, <laughs> it's so real. It's so grounded. Yeah. And then like, and it's so immediate. Like, yes. It just happened. He just got his ass kicked. He's like, none of you guys fucking helped me. Pep. I'm pepperoni. I'm pepperoni, man. I'm sad. I don't like this. Mama, man, my girl went in the pawn shop, man. I'll blast me. <laughs> niggas always talking about that black on black crowd. Fuck that, man. Look at my motherfucking face, man. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this wild. Wow. It is wild. So, oh, man, just don't know, man. I'm this he got fucked up in a pawn shop. Real. Yeah, that's what I'm, oh, that's what I'm gathering. Dang, there was no gun. Dang, he wishes there was a gun. People, yeah, well, oh, it's best that he didn't have his gun. Right. I hope he doesn't go get it. No. Let's not, let's just go home. I hope he just meets Hannah Hutchinson. Yeah, they like, can Go to the pawn shop and fuck some people. Yeah, have her do it. Yeah. yeah Hannah's smart. ready. She needs to she plan it out ready. for him. Yeah. It's He's just angry and emotional. Right. Oh. But she is Calm methodical. Him down. Yes. Lay the blueprint what out. What happened to his shirt? Poor guy. Oh, yeah. He's not wearing a shirt. Good oh. nipple. Strong nipple. It is. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Unreal. Jesus Christ, pepperoni. Yeah. Pepperoni. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to do pepperoni like that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you familiar, by the way, with a man named Fed Smoker? No. You don't know Fed Smoker? No. So you're educating me. Oh yeah, yeah. No yeah. Fed Smoker. He's like, yeah, I've got all this. this catalog I mean, he of could work. know him. He could know him. Yeah. So Fed Smoker is a guy who he he was a bit of a tweaker. Uh-huh. Um, he he smoked meth, but he he considered himself somebody who would smoke out bad cops federal agents oh and, shit and like put bad cops away Hence and he was on name. a he was on a mission okay and he made about 14 youtube accounts and he would post videos to each of his accounts no way he passed earlier this year i think it was this year right yeah right at the beginning of corona right beginning uh. there are some conspiracy theories that Mm. Mm. He could have been involved, right? Um, oh shit! So we go down. That's a juicy conspiracy. Yeah, like it's it's pretty wild. I mean, we go down his rabbit hole quite a bit ah. um, because there's there's he's just let here's just like I'll give you some background on him yeah. before I show you the what, the newest thing. Oh, so, there's a new thing. There, well, there, we discover videos that he's posted because oh. they're all hidden. Oh wow! They're, they're, they're like little cookie crumbs, dude. You know? That's crazy. <laughs> that's a way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. but he he'll is. like film himself like smoke smoking with these with these cops. No, 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 no. Mm. Oh. oh, he's he'd smoke on his own, and then he would confront cops. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he'd just get yes. fucked cops, up. Cops yes. and go- anyone in uniform. Get <laughs> oh my god, anyone in uniform. Uh, bro, I'm on record for a moment. What is this place, anyways? What is this place? Um, you don't need to film me. Oh, I, I'm new to documentary. Listen I here. I don't care. I don't want to. <laughs> this is America, you dumb son of a bitch, okay? Hey, you dumb son of a bitch. I'm a private person. And I, I am don't want a to fucking film. American, fuck you film. stupid fuck. fuck. I can ask you anything I want. <laughs> okay. Cool, cool stuff like that. And I can tell you no anytime You're I want. fucking baby raper on your face, okay, <laughs> cocksucker? You want a baby raper? You're the one who looks like a baby raper. Baby raper, Would you Chomo. escape from jail? What's up there, Chomo? Listen here. <laughs> what do you guys do? You get a job here, you fuck face. Well, not by talking like that. Oh, you know what? You're fired, bud. No, okay? I'm not. <laughs> Things fired. like that. I love this. Guy. He's uh, insane. He man. would oh also, you know, give himself haircuts. Because the little ladies put a little pink on her drink. I wish I was ink. I can drink that drink. And I can run over to the sink. As long as they're wearing a mink and they're definitely not drink. <laughs> I can have a little drink. He's, um. <sighs> He's <laughs> dude. He's going on a ride he's, right now. He's cutting his hair. I want you to take it with, with your feather in it, brother. With you feather, yeah, get a good drip on it. With fire, you get a feather. In it, oh, shit? oh, you gotta oh. get it going, bud. Okay. Oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> gotta get her hot too. Yeah. Yeah. It smells like shit in there. Oh God. Oh my God. Now that's a thrill, motherfuckers. To light yourself on fire. Light your brain on fire. <laughs> Dude. Oh, that's Doesn't that feel great? Doesn't that feel great? 
That's what he said. Doesn't that feel great? Tom, this is like nostalgic for me. This I know. is a nice walk down memory lane oh, with Connell. Wow. He also, so he Fed worked smoke. at Falcon Car Wash and he would do haircuts. <laughs> and also, you know how dentists really overcharge you? Um, oh, yeah. So he would do things like <laughs> um, extract teeth. Or parked illegally. Quit. Oh, no. Different quit, looks quit, quit. for different videos. Quit. Falling asleep. That's the way you do it at Falcon Car Rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, uh, dude. Dude. Oh my he God. He was so bon- like bonkers. Like, he would go and just. So, um, this is like that a city council for having a great This one's my favorite. And a great sheriff. And you, none of you guys are getting this stamp on your face, which is a real. A real Baby raper. Thing, you know? <laughs> so, thank you very much. Uh, can you tell me if I can get a police report on this uh, with normal counsel out there uh, yeah, with this woman? That's, that's tribal land. Okay. Look at his head here. Well, you got tribal cops needing some feds to come see him because I'm going to arrange that if I can with everything I know. <laughs> He's such a menace. Jesus yeah. Christ. He just such does not give a, a fuck. Well, his brain is addled by possibly drugs. Possibly. Not I sure. mean... That's a stretch. No, you might Maybe be right. You might be right. Some meth. I yeah. think I got it. He's fucking coughing. Could blood. you imagine? There you go. Uh, Could dude. you even imagine? Just with a knife, dude. Yeah. That's dude, he, fucking. Ooh. He would like pull people over. Like he would get out of there. Hi. Uh, will you tell me the speed limit out here, my dear brother? <laughs> well, it's, 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 well, it's variable. Oh, it is? Uh, yeah, it's. it's Right here, it's it's typically uh, sixty. Yeah, and like, Wait, that's, yes, his car. Like, no yeah, that's his car. Yes, <laughs> that's the Cho mobile. Ah! <laughs> oh my god! Well, I thought, yeah, I thought you was a cop for a minute. I, are you a cop? No, I'm not. What's going on with the camera? Oh, I, I clipped you in going like seventy-five. You what? I clipped you in it going. I'm not a cop. I just I was filming you <laughs> going seventy-five. You know what? Yeah. 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 Uh, you know what? no. What's the speed limit here, no. my dear brother? No. My dear brother. <laughs> but that's the yeah. only response what to Fed Smoker. Human. Is you know what? No. That's what yeah. you should always say <laughs> right. to Fed Smoker. I just love the energy, no. dude. I love the energy. Right. Put into good things. He's trying to help the world. So he would yes. um he would claim at times to be a CIA operative, a double Ooh. agent. Um he said, you know, I put cops away, bad cops away. <laughs> And um, he traveled, as you saw, with a baby raper pouch <laughs> that had a stamp in it. And he's like, you'll get that stamp on your fucking face. <laughs> so he was always breaking shit down for people. And so we find things like this one. I haven't even seen this one. This is but new? It's, yes, it says Fed Smoker computer lesson. So huh. I have no idea, but I'm assuming he's going to teach us a thing or two. Oh, man. Americans and all you retarded fucks out there. <laughs> a regular XPS kind of out of date. What happens here sometimes these uh, installers you put in on these computers uh, ruin your computer. So before the this screen pops up to get it there, hit 8. Just keep hitting 8. Okay. And, uh, this screen's obviously already popped up. <laughs> what you want to do then is drop down to the very last one where it says disable driver signature. Right? And just hit enter. And this uh retorted companies out there, Whoa. The CIA or FBI, it's always crashing my computer. <laughs> oh, All these fed. fungus fucks. 
Uh, Pull it right up, kids. So if you're ever panicking with these XPF systems, just hang on there for a minute. <laughs> does he actually know what he's talking about? Penny, does he know what he's talking about? I don't know if you already knew I that can't believe not. he actually knows how to work That's what you do a BIOS. Your just, computer you did that right. Kids. Yeah! <laughs> His name is Pet Smoker. <laughs> it says it right there. Wait, Fungus Annie, fucks. He knows how to. You said that that's actually true or whatever part of it? I mean, I don't know what was wrong with his computer, but the fact that he knew how to operate a BIOS, I, I mean, that's, that's, that's nuts. That's he impressive. shouldn't be able to do that. <laughs> yeah, like he restarted. He shouldn't be able to do that. Are you saying. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. There's a possibility that he's a trained double agent. Is that what you're saying? He could be. Are a we confirming genius. this? Wow. He could be undercover this whole time. Wow. He's just calmly operating the BIOS. It's amazing. It's amazing. That's nuts. That's Fed Smoker, man. Just, Jesus Christ. What a renaissance. Man. I mean, the guy's unbelievable. I'm Dentist, blown away. Car right, washer, right. Policeman. Yeah, I mean, he'll just go up. Brother, cops that don't know the cameras are legal need to be fired. And, uh, you know they're legal, don't you? Why are they wasting government time on cameras, brother? Oh, my God. Why are they wasting it? I can film everybody in this country. You know that, don't you? They're retarded here, and I'm going to go report them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, you know what's a funny thing is, because we work with Dr. Drew a lot, right? He does, oh, yeah. He produce a show of his here. Yeah. And he said, uh, um, like, almost exclusively, he said, <laughs> people who smoke meth go towards cops, people in uniform. Really? They pursue them. And people on cocaine run from them. <laughs> so he's like, people on cocaine sometimes will jump out of a window from seeing, like, if they're really high on coke. To get away. From a cop. And people on meth will see 15 cops congregated and they will walk right up to him like, what's up, brother? <laughs> and like, like <laughs> right away, want that smoke from the cops. What yeah. the fuck? Yeah. It's crazy. I wonder why that is. I don't know. He said it's like he's seen it's, it so many times that he's like, it's absolutely. A, he said it's a paranoid thing with the meth that you think it's they're conspiring against you. Oh, the police are. It's they're par more paranoid. People yeah. on meth. But you would think that would make you want to go run away. Uh, I don't yeah. know. It's like, hey, what's up? New confrontational. Up? I don't. Oh, my gosh. That's so bizarre. Impressive. Yeah. I just love how unrestrained he is he just doesn't care yeah, he doesn't care he doesn't at care. all it's a beautiful no. thing really i wish it i is. could have that little slice of fed smoker in me he's the joie de an amazing guy <laughs> yes a certain joie de vivre. yes, yes. <laughs> i love Fed. that was the name of his first album actually was joie de vivre. <laughs> uh, um i'd like to give a shout out to our good friends over at whoop uh, a lot of us are trying to make it back to work on our fitness and health. There's a lot of challenges for, for us to make it happen right now. Some people are able to work with personal trainers, but not everyone has access to that or can afford it. Whoop is the most powerful fitness membership, and it's, they're here to help with that. They are a fitness tracker that gives you so much insight. It's also like having a, a personal trainer and a sleep coach for less than a dollar a day. You just turn those on, and they tell you, hey, you need this much sleep to be at your best you should get to bed by this hour i follow it all the time they also tell you hey you can you can take on a little more strain today get out there get get active i absolutely love it i love studying the insight right now our listeners can get 15 percent off all memberships give whoop a shot and if it's not for you they offer a 30-day return policy no questions asked head over to whoop w-h-o-o-p dot com and enter Y-O-U-R-M-O-M, -O -O your mom, at checkout and save 15% off. Join Whoop today and sleep better, recover faster, and train smarter. You know, Tom, before I found Brooklinen, I was one of these people who had the same sheets on my bed um, for like 10 years, right? You graduate from college and then you just don't know any better. You don't know how to upgrade your life and live like an adult. And with Brooklinen sheets... I give them as gifts for, for the 30-somethings the in our world because I like to show them like, hey, this is how you live like a, an adult. You can sleep on nice sheets and they don't have to cost a fortune. Yep. Brooklinen was started by Rich and Vicky who also tried to find beautiful home essentials that didn't cost an arm and a leg. And when they couldn't, they founded Brooklinen. It's the first direct-to-consumer bedding company. It seriously is luxury-level sheets. They have great colors, patterns, and materials to fit your needs and tastes. Um, yeah, 
buy your sheets, your bedding, and pillows all at once and save even more. So don't wait. Do something nice for yourself. Go to brooklinen.com and use promo code MOM to get 10% off your first order and free shipping. That's B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com and enter promo code MOM for 10% off your first order plus free shipping. brooklinen.com and use promo code MOM at checkout. This is a video that has some commentary on it and involve, oh. involves some kicky footing. <laughs> Have you seen it? No. Some stuff you just really can't make up, dog. Why she got one leg <laughs> and pushing him in the wheelchair? <laughs> <laughs> now that what you call some pimp shit. <laughs> that what you call a pimp, man. It ain't easy, man, but somebody gotta do it, man. Somebody gotta fucking do it. That's so right. That guy. Unbelievable. What a pimp. That is. Damn. That is so beautiful. <laughs> when a one legged woman pushes you in a wheelchair and you don't even need the wheelchair? I know. Jesus. Damn. Hey, I wanna ask you something. Yeah. So, you obviously you've toured and put out albums, and then yeah. this year, like a few other people, you did some drive ins, right? Yes, sir. How fun was it? Dude, so much fun. Aren't you about to do one? Tomorrow. You're doing it tomorrow. Yeah, we're both doing At it. At the Rose Bowl? Yep. Yeah. I just did that. How was it? Three days ago. Three days ago? Yeah. How and? was it? Dude, amazing. Now, wait. are they, They're in their vehicles, right? Oh, yeah. And they're just hearing- They can like sit on top of the car and but sit- But most in, of them- Yeah, most of them are chilling in their vehicles. And you have like, you know, they're all parked in, with space. So you, you parked, you have space around your car. And um, it's- I mean, it's like a full festival setup, dude. The stage is insane, screens, the whole shit. And um, it was amazing. Can you hear them laughing? Well, yeah. He's I... performing music, though, too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 It's a lot of like back and forth. I'm trying to do crowd work. I open up a phone line and people call me in the oh, parking wow. lot and shit. Wow. Um, and then I had my tour manager like get a mic on a boom and we'd be like interviewing people from a distance. Very the, cool. So wow. stuff like that to try and make it feel a little more showy. And um, oh yeah, we had Steve-O introduce me, which was really oh, cool. That's he's cool. Great. Yeah, he's really been on the show. Yeah. Oh really? Guy. Yeah. Very smart guy. Dude, he's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Such a sweetie. He is. Yeah. Um, it was the shit. Will you wow. do more drive-ins? You think or no? I'm doing on Thursday. I'm going to San Francisco and playing Halloween and November first in Burlingame at a drive-in. Wow. And then I did a drive-in tour in June. I did like 12 yeah. dates. Yeah. Um, and uh, Burt Kreischer came not too long after us. Yeah. And started doing it too. He's been doing a ton of them. He's oh, been, yeah? Oh, he's done like 50, 60. Oh, no way. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, he's a drive-in guy. I mean, dude, it, it works. Yeah. It works. I yeah. mean, w it was a real risk at first. I was very, very worried about it. There wasn't really a model. And so there was a big, it was a big chance that it was going to fuck up in a monumental way or that it just wouldn't be entertaining. You know, that like it wouldn't, that the, the, the show experience wouldn't translate, but it, it does. It does. I mean, and also the energy is just very bizarre right now. It's like, yeah, people really want to go to a show and you can feel that <clears throat> you can feel that in the air. It's just like. It's fucking, it's just bizarre, dude. Yeah, you know, yeah, everyone's yeah. sort of on edge and it's a nice thing to play with. I don't know. I like it a lot. It, it It's obviously not as good as playing a show. Sure. But do you think yeah. that like, you know, let's say, because we really don't know what, like there's no end in sight. It doesn't feel like, you know? Yeah, it does So like going into the new year, yeah. will, will you book a bunch of drive-ins again? I mean, not yet. Not yet. I, I we have from like the middle of 2021 on have a whole slew of like traditional yeah, bookings. Sure. Um, just sort of fingers crossed. Yeah, man. Yeah, me too. Yeah, my, really? my stuff. Well, I have like, Same. I did a club over the weekend. Um, oh, okay. That was, uh, like reduced capacity and, and, um, masks. You know? Oh, okay. So everyone had masks on in a club. Oh, wow. Um, How was that? It was great. Really? Yeah, it felt like a totally same show. The only thing that you would wow. ever notice on is when you did crowd work. You'd be like, and like, where are you from, man? And blah, blah, blah. Yeah, like, oh. yeah. But other than that, like the laughs are the same. All that was the same. That's cool. Isn't the store doing? Uh... No, because LA keeps shutting it down. Oh, it, yeah. oh, I see. But other places they are. But my like tour tour doesn't start till july okay so I'm, it's around when i'm yeah june july 
starting festivals and then a big fall. Hopefully. Yeah. Goodness. I know. Oh, God, come on. Let's I just know. fucking come on, dude. It just... It's, I know. On. I know. It's the so fucking so vaccine. Depressing. Just give it to us. Come on. I want to just us. take shoot it. it. Shoot it in my eye. I, I will do that. <laughs> yeah. I know. Vis uh, just visine yeah. style, or just with uh. a syringe. I don't give a fuck. Give a fuck. Yeah. yeah, and it's. I mean, I don't know. It's. It looks like I was reading something in the Times about like that. There's several companies that are on like a second phase trial or whatever. Yeah. Of the thing, so it, like we could like there could be something before the end of the year, but then there's always another piece of news with the news though. Yeah, like, be the, like they're like we're this close to the vaccine, and then they go, it's gonna be really hard to distribute. Those. Yeah, that's, that's another the prob problem, right? But if you God. figure like what is it? We're October, November, December. Like let's say we get something by the end of the year, then the distrib the distribution. So then it's like maybe like March, April. Uh, you know, hopefully. like it would take a few months. We do the the week, the, you know, the the at risk people first, and then the other p. I don't know how the fuck it works, but yeah. then everyone starts getting it maybe April or something. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm counting on. Yeah, I don't feel like that's unreasonable. I don't think so either. Right? But, yeah, I don't know. But I'm kind of also ready to be disappointed. I'm also totally ready for no, it to just be no. A let's talk about the excitement. Okay, let's talk okay. about the positive stuff. Okay, I think people are going to be. <clears throat> Banging in the streets. Yeah, oh, yes, yes. Don't you feel like when the vac, Dude. like when this is over, it's going to be like, uh, war is over. Everybody yes. in the streets. I, I'm i trying to decide love. whether or not, uh, this is kind of comforting. Let's it's have a party. Nice. We should like have a this. huge fucking, I want a huge celebration. What kind of party do you want? A YMH blowout. But just a Bacchanal. I'm serious. Like, it, dude, this DJs, is. catered food. Catered food. Yes, multiple DJs. At the same time, you can, you don't even know what you're listening to. I'm ready. There's play. <laughs> it's not. There's something. It, I want to stand in enclosed spaces with lots of people. Yes. And just lick each other's faces. Yes. Spit on each it. other. Talk <laughs> Jack off in people's Fuck mouths. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, walking uh, around. Yeah. yeah. Drink it. Huh. Come. I'm coming. Yeah. Yeah. Coming. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Bacchanalian. <laughs> Shit on the floor. But don't you think there's yeah. going to be shit over there? Like Dude, wild you just wrote parties? a new song. That's <laughs> fucking awesome. <laughs> Write a song about the end of it. Shit on this. Yeah. Shit on that. Yeah. Throw that. There you go. Yeah, that's something what I'm like that. Yeah, that's an awesome party. I want to be, be a fun party. party. <laughs> it's a Gigi Allen party. <laughs> yes, yeah. it's total Gigi Allen yeah. shit. Uh, oh. Suck my ass, it smells. Suck my ass, it smells. Getting picking it up. I love that. I'm gonna I microwave. I'm gonna microwave it. it. I love it, man. Yeah, but but I think that <sighs> I think you're right. Go it's to going park. to be a fucking renaissance. I think like so. when like at the yes. you know there's there's like a buffering period where the vaccines happen and then we're all and then things are opening and the but 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 once like six months yeah. in, it's gonna be a fucking the seventies. I think so. All over I hope so. Yeah, I hope so. And then, I hope so too. And then too. how long before we get back to being complaining cunts? Yeah. Like, <laughs> when do I get my boring American life back? Like, right. when we talk about the Kardashians and how annoying they are. Like, can't I just want to be, I want to yeah. be banal and like. Yeah. Yeah, you can't because every time you do, it's like, well, that's not even <laughs> anything right now. You know, I it's know. just like, it's not even a fucking. So I want to get back to it. I, I do too. too. Yeah. Like, are you serious? Gays can get married. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? Like just regular American wholesome fun. Totally. Yeah. Totally. I want to complain about, yeah, the Nathan's hot dog eating contest. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Like, yeah so and so didn't win. But yes. we really need that period of, whew, we can touch each other again. I know. Yeah. You know, that's like a, it's going to be a beautiful thing. I think it is. So. It's going to be a fucking it's gonna be crazy. What if we create? That's my prediction. But what if because we've been all been quarantined for so long that we haven't had exposure to germs, and then we finally all come back together, but we create a new disease. And then everyone shut oh up because everybody's <laughs> fucking and Stop. sucking and licking each other. Stop. It's like a new AIDS. Don't even put it in the air. Listen, <laughs> if there's a month of sucking and fucking and licking everything, and then we have to pay for it, that'd be great. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I know. That's the fine. price I'm willing to pay. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna, you know. I'm gonna fuck on the streets. You know yeah. I'm gonna fuck on the streets too. Yeah, Who yeah. are you gonna fuck? Your Whatever girlfriend? stranger walks up to me and is like, 
Tom, you are an honorable and reliable <laughs> kind man. <laughs> yeah, I get strange. Turn emails. around. Turn around immediately. Yep. I'm about to fuck that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, now, as a gifted musical man, because your stuff oh, really please. is very impressive. Thank you. Very funny. I don't understand how you guys yes. like. When I say you guys, people that can do that, like, how yeah. do you, how do you pick do a sound and make a loop and just build a song from seemingly out of nothing, dude? It's a real gift. I don't know how you do it. I mean, to it's to me, it's the easiest way. I mean, I guess it's like the most liberating way to yeah. do it. You know, yeah. what I mean? it's just like you don't have to think too much about it. You have to trust your instincts, but like once you get comfortable doing that. It's like it's just improv. It's improvisation. It's improv, yeah. yeah it's How just... annoyed would you be to have, be like, "All right, man, you play this, and then you play like." Uh, at this point, uh, wouldn't you be like, "I do yeah, this all on my own"? Like, it's 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 tedious for yeah. sure. That's what I'm having trouble with it because, like, the reason I'm in LA, I've been in LA for the last for all of October, and I I'm trying to work on a, an album, like a proper composed, ah. produced oh. album, and I haven't done a single fucking thing. Um, I've like worked and met a bunch of people who are like musical heroes to me mm -hmm. and they're sort of guiding me in directions. So I'm doing things, but I haven't actually like laid down any real music yet that could be considered, you know, for the album. Um, and part of that is just because it's such a foreign concept to me, yeah. this thing of like, let me like write this and a and a, and a arrangement. Because you're used to working a certain mm -hmm. way. Right. right. I mean, that's right. what it seems like. That's exactly yeah. it. Yeah, it's just a very bizarre way of thinking. It's not my my brain, my neurons aren't firing that way. Yeah. I have to like rewire them. And to is it do that. is it a slow progression or is there a moment that you knew that like the way you were doing stuff really worked and you could tour and people, you know what I mean, wanted to consume what you make that way? It well, I mean, I it start, I, I had like about a year of local gigs in Dallas when I like I was working this job, lost the job, and then it was sort of between like getting another call center job or um, like just seeing if I could get paid to, to do this thing. I'd sort of been fucking around with this loop station for a little bit, and that's because of Reggie Watts. You guys know Reggie? Of course. The man. The man. Just saw him yesterday. Oh, yeah? He's the shit. Mm. Did you see him perform? We played together. Oh, we played just, together? Yeah, we just oh, hung out and cool. played and made some shit together. No oh. shit. He is my, he's the reason that I'm doing is this. Is it for real? 100%. I've told oh. this story before, 100%. but like I, yeah. I did a show one time. Yeah. And it's the only time I've ever seen this. That's why I've, I've mentioned it. Yeah. Uh, where people are doing 10 minute, 10 to 15 minute sets. Oh, okay. Well, you know, in stand up, it's not that unusual, right? right. Someone does their set. He came up and I was like, so you're gonna do a full music set? And they're like, no, he's just gonna do like 10 minutes. Yeah. 10 minute set? He did a 10 minute set and got a standing ovation. <laughs> I've never seen anybody do 10 minutes and get a standing ovation. Wow. You know, it's just, it's wild. And so deserved. Yeah, it was like, like, of course, everybody's mind was blown. Yeah, dude, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's what mine was too. Like I saw, I, I, I found out about him years and years ago and just like seeing someone, it's this thing of like, he gets up on stage with a looper and nothing. He just has nothing, no set, nothing. And he figures it the fuck out. And it's brilliant. It's crazy. It's brilliant. It is. And so yeah, that like lit a fire. I was just like, man, if I could do, like if I could figure out to do this my, a, a way to do this in my way, I'd always wanted to have like a bank of instruments that I could just sort of audition to pull up at will. Drums, bass, synth, keys, whatever. And then layer them up, and then but then the, the the structure of it was very heavily influenced by Reggie. Just like sure. get up on stage and see what happens. Um, and so I started to do that in Dallas, and you know at first it was I was just playing for like crowds of people who were there for happy hour or lunch crowds at a restaurant who were not there to see me at all. Right, right. Didn't necessarily want to see me talking about pussy and yeah. shit and ass. Sounds like very much yep. like a stand-up stand uh, career. Yes, starting, you know? yes. Yeah. yeah, very much People that. People like, I just want to have dinner here, thanks. To yeah, I didn't like, want this show. what the fuck yeah. are you yeah. doing? What, there is my favorite, did you ever do the HMS Bounty? 
uh, in Koreatown. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was it was literally as old people eating like the six o'clock <laughs> special, and you're Dude, like, that, hey guys, isn't that the so best though? Depressing. There's yeah. something about to me. It's like there's a friction there. There's a friction there that you cannot replicate right. with a hard ticket crowd. Well, because you are attacking these people. Yes. You are forcing them <laughs> into a show. Yes, you are. Yeah. And it's like, they're like, we didn't sign up for this. You're, what? You're who the fuck are you? Them. Yeah. Yeah. It's and so horrible. I just, I don't know. I, I loved that <laughs> and loved either getting people to leave <laughs> or winning them over. Yes. You know, there was this thing over the course I would do these absurd, I'd do like three hour sets. They'd hire me for like three hours for like 150 bucks. Oh and I would my just, God. It was fucking grueling, dude. I'd do like four or five of those a week. And Good, but that, that makes good. you get good really fast. Yeah. I didn't realize it at the time, but yeah, I was like cutting my teeth in, a, yeah. in an aggressive way. And um, But you would, you know, you'd witness this where like people were coming in to like talk about their day with someone over an old fashioned or something. And over the course of an hour or two, they would go from that to like, the fuck is this? <laughs> to then by hour two, they're like both sitting there and watching. You know? uh, so yeah. it's That's that cool. you, I got to learn how to do that and then slowly established it like a local audience there. And then I moved to New York and, and then like within a couple months, my videos started getting shared around and that came that that led to like booking requests. Sure. And so oh, that was pretty fun. immediate. There. What's your like if you were pointing someone right now who's like, I want to check out your stuff. What do you like to point people t towards, you know, to to like, oh, find out oh, to my stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you like hmm. them to to, you know, find first? I would say there's a pretty good one that's like more th I'll, I'll give you two there's a there's a more serious one called one more time mm -hmm. that has done pretty well that i'm i'm pretty proud of and it's just like a one take just making a song in one take yeah and then there's another one that i did on the drive-in tour that's been that's become pretty popular as well called i'm a flamingo mm -hmm. <laughs> where the video guy just like put a flamingo up on the green screen and i just started riffing i think on i've that. seen the one take one Oh, okay. Yeah, the yeah. one more time. One more time. Yes, yes, yes. There's a bunch like that. Yeah. Um, it's so impressive to see like, thanks. The man. songs get like made like because you're you know yeah. Like, just, how does this happen? You just don't understand how it happens. <laughs> yeah. Were you always musical growing up? Yeah, yeah. I've been playing piano since I was a kid. Since there I was like go. five. See, yeah, that's we, why we start we our tried. kids. We tried. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have a son who's almost five. And he, oh really? He, yeah. He's like with the piano teacher, and he goes, he looks, he goes, I hate this. <laughs> And I was to like, I'm like, oh yeah. And I'm <laughs> like, I'm like, she's right here. Like, just be cool, man. He's like, I hate this. I don't want to do this. And I'll like, tell you though, yeah. I hated it too. Yeah. A lot. A lot. Yeah. Hated it. And especially hated like learning theory, practicing a song, fucking despised it, still despise it. The only difference is now my parents forced me to do it for so long. Mm hmm that I developed that foundation yep. in theory and in understanding how piano works, that now I can despise that because I can just play, Yeah, you know? Mm -hmm. sure. So there, there's, I don't know. I mean, maybe something will click. Maybe. Well, maybe I think not, I but, love yeah. the discipline of learning something, right? Because yeah. that's what you go through, even in stand-up. Like, you don't always love that process of, how do you write a joke? Right. There's just, you have to learn the rules so that you can break the rules. It, man, that's, right? that's the shit. That's yeah. the shit. So, yeah. but you have to have those foundations and you have to barrel through all that horror of like the three hour sets where no one pays attention. Yep. Showing up and doing those lunchtime gigs. and Yeah, you really, <sighs> you have discipline. to do that. You have to. There's no way around. That's that. the bedrock. Yep. You don't get to do the other shit without doing that. The suffering has to come. Yeah. Now, yeah. Before we get to our final talks, I just wanted to show you uh, <laughs> something so real excited. quick here. Oh, this please. Screen, just see how you react to it. <laughs> okay. Hey, everybody. Garth Brooks here in <laughs> iconic Notre Dame locker room. This is where the players go out to take the field every Saturday. This, this is where shit. all our players are getting ready to take the field for this yes. concert. So tonight, the Fighting Irish, they're going to become the Singing Irish. This is going to be good. <laughs> Dude, it's the way. Yeah. There's, there's the way he contorts his face. Yeah. 
this is good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. This is going to be good. Yeah, it really is like a Hallmark card came to life, you know? And you're like, <laughs> people don't talk like that, man. You just don't know how people talk. But, right. But, but don't you feel that He's it's... so... It's disconnected. It's, it's disconnected and it's contra- it's it's a forced affect. It's gonna be good. Yes, yeah. that's it. Like yeah. nobody. Hey, Tom. Tom. Can you roll it's that? It's gonna be Can good. We ch- yeah. Versus, it's gonna be good. <laughs> it's so yeah. weird. Because yeah. what happens is they go cut. And he goes, "Is that how people talk?" Yeah. yeah. And then like, <laughs> we good. Yeah. We good. All right. Am yeah. I an everyday average Joe? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have, I have eight hundred million dollars. I don't even know what to. <laughs> Just what, by far yeah. the most successful musician, uh, right? Ever. It's not even close. It's Jesus. not even close. Bananas. It's not even I, close. I, I, can I can just see him do that? I just want to see him see it him again. Do. I know. It's so yeah. rad. Yeah. We show him. Hey, everybody. Oh, Garth Brooks here in iconic Notre Dame locker room. This is where the players go out to take the field every Saturday. This is where all our players are getting ready to take the field our for this players. concert. So tonight, the Fighting Irish, they're going to become the Singing Irish. This is going to be good. <laughs> this be good. So weird. <laughs> Dude, it it's is so, so weird. I so, okay. So when I was on my driving tour, yeah. gosh, boot, boot. I know. I wish they just floated in front of you. Oh, that likes. would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. One day they will. Day. They I know. will, or they won't even exist. They'll be in our jaw yeah. or some shit. <laughs> but mm. they, w- but I, I, something happened with Garth. Br- oh yeah, Garth. So we were the first p- uh, show on the road. Yeah, uh, 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 doing a tour and. As we got on the road, Garth Brooks announces a 300 city yes drive-in drive tour. And oh, you're like, he "Wow. Amazing, Garth." Right. Yeah, that's crazy. It's not a fucking tour. No. no. He recorded some shit in his room with his band and they're playing it on a fucking projector. Yeah. So, and I, charging 100 bucks a That's head. yeah. Charging the same amount I was jar- for like it's as if you're going to see him live. Yes. But you're not, you're not at all. It. And so I decided to like make a joke about that. I was like, yeah, what the fuck, Garth? I had no idea that you guys had this <laughs> long standing deep beef with Garth Brooks. Big time. And yeah. I started like poking fun at him. I was like, yeah, look at your yeah. stupid hat, you yeah, of idiot. Course. And, that, and so all of your fans were like, Dude, you guys, you don't even know. <laughs> you don't know. I know. I got a lot of yeah. messages. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, you got to get in touch with Mark. Well, yeah. we knew you were kindred spirit at that moment. Yes. It was, it was go time. It's destiny. What do you... We're at Notre Dame. Don't miss it. Only CBS. <laughs> what is... Jesus. Only CBS. No, but he's like being... Angry. Do that again. He's yeah. angry at you. We're at Notre Dame. Don't miss it. Only CBS. <laughs> Only CBS. <laughs> huh? Ah! <laughs> Garth b- here. Okay. But what Jesus. is it, Mark? Do you, what's the disconnect? Like, what is it? What is it? Hey, buddy, Garth Brooks here. Before we even get started, yes, these are the craziest times I've ever known to exist. So, people, the great thing about people is that we're all meant to be together. And even in this virus, <laughs> even with social distancing, yeah, the we're going to find a way. Be a part together. Oh, uh, I'm gonna ejaculate together. all over what? your What? Oh, here's here's your tour. Look look where he announces the tour. Oh no! <laughs> Just when you think you could be surprised, I, I can't believe this is happening. So the drive-in thing. I can't Over believe hundred thousand cars want to get in this thing. People had five people a car. That's half a million people. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Wait, why can't Wait, he believe it? He, just, he worked it out with his agents to have the drive-in to tour. You. This isn't Ticketmaster, okay? It isn't like the regular stadium show. This is a, this is a group called Universal do the drive-in theater. So they're not used to these kind of numbers, and they are processing as fast as they possibly can. If I can use the term assholes and elbows, they are going all out. <laughs> what? That's not what you use what that is for. That? Wait That's a minute. Not- Wait, I don't understand assholes and you put your ass in the air like and your, your assholes like your, up. Your, I mean, in football, they're like, I want to see assholes and elbows like you're in the three-point stance. So oh. It's like you're doing work, you know? Yeah. Okay. But I guess he's saying, he's saying they're selling they're tickets. They're processing tickets with their assholes and elbows up in the air. <laughs> they're working hard. They're butt-fucking each other? Dude, I mean, he is just so yeah. deeply and fully separated from what it means to be a normal human yeah. being. Yeah, yeah. That you, there's no... By trying to Jealous. relate to you, he's failing miserably. Of course. He always yeah. does this shit, too, where he's, like, out in the fucking woods. Leaning on his truck. Like, I mean, what would your dad say to his outfit, you know? <laughs> you are a homeless man in yeah. the woods. Like, 
Look at this shit. What is this shit? <laughs> Why are you wearing this awful shirt? <laughs> <laughs> He looks terrible. Oh my god! You got it at a, at a gift shop. It's a gift shop shirt. <laughs> I mean, you know the famous. Well, I guess one. it's official. Oh yes. my god! We're now on Facebook. I really wasn't sure about this at the start. Yeah. But then a friend of mine said something. I, that just made I really wasn't sense. sure about this at the start. She said, think of it more as a at the start. Ugh. I like that. Ugh. <laughs> Dude. Dude. It's it so is. painful to watch. Oh, it's it's. Gorgeous! It's yeah. did you watch gorgeous. the Netflix so doc? Embarrassing. No, dude. Oh, you it's, so it was it. on. Actually, it aired initially. It's one of those things that aired on a network, and yeah. then Netflix licensed it oh, afterwards. Okay. But there are like so many moments. I watched it in like one night. It was, really? like, it was like a two or three hour thing. Yeah. And he, I mean, first, I mean, so, there's so much weeping. Like everything he oh talks about God. brings him to tears, basically. But the first thing is about, oh, this is about handshakes. The way you shake a man's hand determines at that spot how interested you really are to be there. Not a death grip handshake, a sincere handshake. What? What is wrong yeah. with you? What's wrong? Oh, wait. This what is, is this the is where matter he, with you? This is what he takes handshakes what? to, though. Listen. Then you know if all hell breaks loose in the next five seconds from that handshake, and you turn and you have to face something coming. You've got a partner. What? <laughs> what? And what are gonna, world are you, you living in? Person. Amen. <gasps> That's you. Me? I'll bet my life on it. What, what the fuck? Was he in Desert Storm? Like, was he? No way. And no one. This is not a writing staff. No. No. He's just saying this. Yeah. And then the producers are like, did you get that? Okay. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Great, okay. Garth. I mean, you want to keep going? You want to keep... That's insane. Yeah. That's and insane. He's big on this shit, you know, the big, like, uh, the outdoor If you're thing. a soldier, you need a war. If you're a boxer, you need an opponent. And if you're in country music, you don't have to look far to find who you're competing against. And you're competing against the other forms of music. So, compete. What? Compete, compete. And when you're done competing, compete again. <laughs> so you really realize though that's super telling when you're like like he really is like fuck all these other yeah musicians. he's out for blood yeah yeah if and you know if i'm shaking a hand with the musician yeah. and another musician comes from the side Whoa. start some shit <laughs> in those yeah. next five seconds the next five seconds if i have to lay some shit down yeah i know i've got a partner well that's a really interesting theory that you're competing with all different forms of music yeah that's like, what that's who are you competing against like rap? everything else, yeah. Like every other motherfucker yeah. out there. What <laughs> country? Fine, yeah. fine. Yeah, hip hop. No, yeah, I mean like, no translation. Like, these blacks are out of control. Yeah. <laughs> and I wrote a few songs about it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like to play them for you. Hey, now. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Dude, I mean, I just. Is... It's, it's an interesting way to see the world, though, no? Because like when uh, that's like comedians yeah. being like, and I'm going against improv and <laughs> sketch. Yeah. Right. And it's like, no, I, yeah. it never occurred to me. You're right. That's yeah. such a bizarre. Yeah. But then I'm you not, go like oh, acting, maybe, screen acting, <laughs> television acting. <laughs> I'm absolutely not competing with any of those mediums. That's so fucking. Is the whole documentary that? It's Dude. intense. And, and I'm serious. Like, I don't know if it's anybody. There's literally so many tears. Like, and yeah. I get it. Like, you know, you bring up certain things. You're like, sure. oh, so no, it, the memory. But like, every other thing, he's like, oh, I wrote that song. He's like, oh, <laughs> like hold on. And you're like, oh, okay. And he talks about his mom, his dad, his uh, siblings, his daddy. children. Like everybody that he brings up, he's like, oh, he <laughs> cries again. You're wow. Like, okay. You I mean, just not like that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and oh, also, what, you'll, a, what a gem! You'll notice the camera gotcha. angles much more flattering here than it is when he's out in the forest. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's got the triple chin. All right, you guys might lighten me from uh, he, just. I need a three. I need a three o'clock. Yeah, he doesn't look good. At, I mean, he looks bloated. He might okay. be drinking. Dr. Can you take Drew out said, the nine? Take the nine away. I need to. I, I don't like this side to be lit. Oh, you know what I just Fuck. remembered? I just remembered right now that my dad said he doesn't want to have sex with me. <laughs> <laughs> that is so upsetting that is so upsetting what a shame we called my dad and we were like 
hey, would you ever uh, have sex with somebody in your family? He's like, uh, no, that's not on my watch. <laughs> uh, and then I go, but I love you. And he goes, I love you, but it never occurred to me to have sex with you. <laughs> I love how reasoned his response was. Yeah, it was, was. Yeah. very reasoned. Yeah. I love you very much. I just, I, I'm not sure I'd be interested in sex. I don't have any sex with you. No. <laughs> It was, very, it was very sad. Well, you That's feel what, slighted, right? Like, you are the I most do. attractive How does that make you feel? of your siblings. It made me think. feel rejected. It made me feel oh, yeah. alone. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> Abandoned. <why not?" laughs> rejected. <laughs> What's wrong with this? Yeah. You What's made it. What's wrong with this? You made it, Dad. I mean, I'm not enough for you, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> is it my dick? What is it? Yeah. What, what part of me is so unattractive? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. waiting you, tell, on. you tell Mark what he's about to Mark, watch. Mark, don't Let's be stingy. Yeah. Have you ever been on TikTok? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I am on TikTok. You You're have to be, it. right? I am. I know I really don't try too hard with it, but it's doing okay. You it's should try right. harder, yeah. Mark. Come yeah. On, Mark, don't be stingy. You should, you should really try. <laughs> so I curate what is nice, known nice, as nice, nice. the dark talks. I don't like the traditional people doing nice things. Yeah. I find the outliers, the uncelebrated, the marginalized mm. on mm. TikTok. I just and burnt. I choke it. Oh, you yeah. may. Well, you oh, may. Go for it. Yeah. Thank I think you. you're going to find that you need to <sighs> dig a little deeper on the talk next time you're on when you see some of these. These are all Christina's curations. Thank oh, my you. goodness. Thank okay. you. Okay. If, if you think that gays should be allowed to have sex, then you also have to think that a brother and sister should be able to have sex because you cannot control who you're attracted to. <laughs> all I can do is not in agreement. It makes logical sense, Tom. The gays can't control how, it. How appropriate that we just left the conversation I about know. my father and I, I having sex. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Her brother. Yeah. And her sister can have is sex. A, is is an attractive man. Yeah. And she and she wants it. Maybe. That's my do hypothesis. You think, maybe. Do you think also that like because like, you know, she's put together, she obviously reads. Do you think <laughs> that this know. is just like the repetition of things she's heard? You know what yes. I mean? Like there's a certain she's age. just I used to regurgitate things that like my parents said. Right. And it right. took me like a year to be like, I don't even think that. Because that's true, because actually when I'm thinking about it, you can see that she's like still working through it yeah. as yeah. she's saying it. You yeah. know what I mean? She's like that well then that that means that the brother and sister can uh, you know, she's like She said it like like her she's trying to remember exactly how her aunt says it. Right. So she's like, Well, if the gays then the, the, why can't you marry your brother? Right. <laughs> like, you know? Because it's not, you can't, it's, you, you can't, can't con control it. Yeah. So, so yeah. <laughs> what is it then? Oh, gosh. Can't control it. Just yeah. like incest. Yeah. The same Let me give you a tip that a lot of people don't know about a tape measure. Right underneath the bell clip, if you look, there's a number right there, two and a half inches. That number represents the face from here to here, the width of that tape measure. Okay. Why do you need to know that? Let me show you. All right, so now let's say I want to know the inside. <laughs> you just, I just wanted to, you don't want to know this. This is extremely boring. This is just dad TikToks. These are dad talks. That's fascinating. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I did not know that. So I look Wait, down and I can see it's at 69 and 7 sixteenths. Is it 69 and a half? I don't know. Why guess? So, <laughs> take measure, keep it tight against that end. Slide it over and push it tight to the wall and lock the tape measure in. Now I take my tape measure and I look where it is on this side. It's 67 plus two and a half is 69 and a half. Hey. 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 What a soothing gentleman. I know. This is like your dad's talk. This like, is a really wholesome talk. I is. love the, yeah. the cut to the kneel. Yeah. It's a yes. great cut. So yeah. great. You cut, your, he's, he's already down and ready. I mean, yeah. I have to assume that a younger person made that note and said, <laughs> let's cut dad, to you on dad, your knee. Get, yeah. yeah, get, get down. down. Yeah. It's very helpful. But I love how um, helpful he Yeah, and very just helpful. how sweet that is. And like, super sweet. Hey, I just want to show you guys something cool that That's I know. Real, I he thought it was going to go south. He seem like he would molest anybody. He seems like a nice guy. And he definitely would not. Not fuck his son. Oh no. no no no! Not no no chance. No. Although Jacqueline you can't control Jewett. who you're attracted to. Julie Jerkoff, <laughs> forgive me. Kirk <laughs> 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 again, 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 again. It's too good. It's too good. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Jacqueline Jewett. 
Julie Jerkoff. <laughs> Forgive me, Kirkoff. <laughs> It just. She does not think it's funny. Not Julie only she's, did not like it. She's heard it her whole life. Her whole life. Oh and now at graduation, gosh. she has to hear it. And Julie laugh. jerk. <laughs> and her parents are like, "We paid eighty-five thousand dollars to send you here, and they're calling you jerk off at graduation." <laughs> and now some dickheads on a podcast are yeah. replaying it. <laughs> Dude, that is the best. It's like the um, it's the best part. Adina Menzel. Jo- I just watched that the other day when John Travolta fucks up Adina Menzel's name. You remember that? No. Oh my god! John Travolta announces Adina Menzel on stage, and he goes, "The lovely, the one and only, the talented Adele Dazim." And he just no no correction. Just like, I'm not even gonna try. Oh, Commit. here it is. Why oh. wouldn't you know the name? You'd ask. Perform the Oscar-nominated, gorgeously empowering song "Let It Go" from the Oscar-winning animated He's movie drunk. Frozen. Please welcome the wickedly talented one and only Adele Dazim. <laughs> Adele Dazi. Adi puts a little accent on it. Adele Dazi. Hand gesture too. (laughs) Dazi. That's terrible. And then he gets on stage with her at another function and apologizes to her. Like they're on stage together in front of the mic, like podium style like this. And he holds her, he like cradles her face and he goes, mm. my dear, my beautiful. It's very creepy. That's very strange. She's clearly not about it. No. Very bizarre. Thing. Very strange. How did yeah. he get Adele Dazim from Edina? I mean. It's such a It's f- like maybe There is nothing worse up. though Was than it? when you're on a mic and you're supposed to like, we do it on a much smaller scale, but when you're supposed to introduce someone. Oh like, yeah. Fuck. And especially Dude, if they have like. You killed uh, it by the way. They don't have well. If they don't have like this, st- like you're on stage and you're like, "Who's up next?" Oh, you know what I mean. Yeah. And they're like, especially if someone you don't know, right? And and then you start to panic about if they have a name that's not like a really simple name, right? Oh my god! Like one, I mean, one time I introduced a guy, and this was like early on, yeah. And I just forgot his first name. It doesn't seem like a big oh. deal, but to you in the moment, it's like yeah, it's everything. It's terrible. everything. I remembered his last name. Yeah, was Berman, and I go, "Give it up." For Mr. Berman. No, and then he came on stage no. and he was like, what am I, your fucking fifth grade teacher? And I was like, oh my God. I Mr. Berman? Know. I didn't know how Mr. to. Mr. Berman. Yeah. Oh, God. No. Adele. The Adele. Does he? Like, does he? Like, does he? He must have been. <laughs> it's not, on a teleprompter. Not yeah. it at all. So may, but I'm it's saying, not the name. Maybe somebody put it in. It could have been put in incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I think he, he could have been drunk. He could have been like. Yeah. He was just like, do I know who that is? Of course I know who that is. Yeah, yeah. No, right. It's fucking it's a, Adele. It's Adele Dazimi. Adele Dazimi. It's Adele a Adele nightmare. Dazimi. Adele Dazimi. Adele Dazimi. Hi, yeah, yeah. I know. I just wanted to get on here and say, say something, you know, about uh, <laughs> these videos I make and stuff. <laughs> You know, I'm, I do a lot of hard work in these videos, mm-hmm. and I put uh, special effects in them, make them look good and stuff. Yeah, clearly. I got over 4,000 fans, <laughs> and, you know, a woman gets on here, shakes her butt, shows her titties, her clip, previous, she gets thousands of fucking likes, and a man like me and other people make a nice video, you nice know, video. and it looks good, <laughs> and I like nice get eight likes, ten likes. Yeah. I got over 4,000 fans. Can anybody explain that to me? Yeah. Why that would be? It's called people want to watch hot know. chicks, dipshit. I wonder no, why. I, like yeah. I wonder why I this like, isn't working. I have a bunch of people in here I like very much. <laughs> I just want to know why. <laughs> oh, that's sad. It's, it's, it's crazy. It is crazy. Oh, who wants to say? Who wants to go first? <laughs> 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 and uh, let him know what's going on. Oh, my God. Oh God! Mm. Oh man! Yeah, he's kind of sad. It's kind of sad. I just, I'm just trying to know why. He's got <laughs> four thousand followers, and he uses all kinds of special effects. Come on, guys! Clearly, look at the production value here. I mean, right here, all these effects, everything looks good. It's beautiful. It's beautifully framed. You're, you're TV's laying down. On. Yeah, <laughs> it's inviting. It's warm. <laughs> the sure. mustache is. I don't understand why this video doesn't have a hundred thousand likes. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> yeah. it may now. It's really good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam Barsky, and this is my sweater of the Forest of Hope at Oregon Ridge Park in Hunt Valley, Maryland. That's a suburb of Baltimore. Oh, my God. And what the Forest of Hope is, it's trees that are painted.
painted with all kinds of artwork on cool the trunk. Shirt. It's really cool. And I mean, it's a really dope sweater. It, it's yeah. To represent uh, hope for recovery from addiction. So I discovered it earlier this year, and I thought that would make a great sweater. <laughs> so I just finished it yesterday. It's my latest sweater. This is my wife, Deborah, over here. <laughs> my latest sweater. And as you see, there are trees all over, just yeah, like in all directions. We like got it. One. Yes, yes, it's, it's on your shirt, too. There's one back here. Okay. It, and then there are a whole all right, bunch of All right, moving on. <laughs> oh, Hold baby on. Baby girl. <laughs> Why don't you say you love me oh. and become my friend forever? <laughs> Why don't you say you love me <laughs> and come around? Why don't you call me up on the phone? It's the mess behind the, What are you talking talk about? <laughs> couple, couple loose cables bothers you? No big deal. Baby girl, I love you. Now, what would you do to this song? Baby girl. Is there anything you, do you feel like you come could? Around and see <laughs> I just feel like reaching too. through that camera and putting it in there. Yeah. Oh, baby girl. Soft. Is he. I want to know. Basically, you. in the infancy of your career, do you feel. <laughs> and hang out with you. This guy has the makings. Oh, baby girl. Just needs a looper. That's it. You put, a, you put him in front around. of a looper. <laughs> oh, baby How girl. How fucking long does he go on for? Jesus Christ. God. Why don't and you, what is you're the, not appreciating his work, Tom. You know, I appreciate, I'm also like Mark in that I don't know what fucking back room he broke into, <laughs> but there are so many cables there. And, and by the way, it's padded. Yeah. Like a studio. Yeah, yeah. he's got soundproofing. He's like, well, that's right. where he records, you know, obviously. That's right, that's right. He's just. He's singing right he's now. He's in the middle of a session. Yeah. And that, the, the, what's <laughs> the, this is the bit, the face on the bottom, and then you just. Oh, it's like ninety percent dead space. Bad. I don't know. I what don't is that? Know. It's so. But you know what? You can't have all the talents, Mark. Like some people are good at singing, like he is, and then some people don't really have an eye for the camera. composition. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You can't have it all. I think we need to appreciate his his talent. Yeah. yeah. We just need to appreciate <laughs> this the, the the craft. Yeah. Great find on display. Thank you. Thanks for Thank finding you. that. Yeah, Thank you. See what I'm saying? You probably have never seen this talk. I'm guessing. I have never seen this talk. I've never ticked this Julie talk. Julie Jerkoff. <laughs> Julie Jerkoff. My bad. Kirkoff. Yeah. Good afternoon, my darlings. Happy Monday. Oh. Happy birthday, my Libras. Happy birthday to you. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. Wishing all your birthday wishes and dreams come true all birthday year long. And the sun is in Libra. So it's about balance and harmony and love and nurturing. <laughs> and it's getting closer and, and closer. So it's about adventure. I love her hair. New things, oh, new experiences. It's gotten better. I love you, my darlings. Have a oh beautiful day. She does this a in lot. In this energy. Make your in decision. In this energy. Yeah. Oh, she's so what you that. want. It's still about the love. Okay. I've been following she's her. She's sensational. She is sensational. She's great. She's Thank always you. like, hello, my darlings. I'm just taking a walk in the snow. Hello, my darlings. But and I much always, of a happy yeah. birthday. <laughs> Just well, launches into song and then I, yeah creeps closer, yeah. closer and happy <laughs> i also find it interesting that somebody is like oh, i'm a libra this song's for me yeah yeah like, yeah right, somebody's right. Really i was stuck. born in november yeah. i'm faithful attentive <laughs> <laughs> happy birthday she, to me yeah, to she, me, me. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you mr president Fuck you, Mr. President. Yes. Um, your house Sit is up. on fire. Fuck you! Just <laughs> inside! Yeah, so this guy used to be a big Trump supporter, and then I don't oh. know what happened. He had a severe change of heart. And really? So now all his talks are dedicated to F Trump, and like he's anti-Trump. Oh, now. dude, that's the best. Yeah, he had a change of heart. I, I would love say the energy. that um, I, I like your him. energy, and, and you know we live in a free country, and you should express... However you want politically, but I would take the fire outside. That's I would <laughs> advisable. Yeah, that's advisable. I don't know if he's about to be like. I mean, I was doing this thing with my TikTok. And I, <laughs> I, I accidentally set my house on fire. 
<laughs> I didn't know that drywall was that flammable. I, yeah. I just wasn't aware. I mean, that's that, that flame is dude. Growing. It's on the wall. <laughs> yeah. It's on the fucking wall. Wait, you hung a flag on your wall and set it on fire? <laughs> Slip it. There we go. Do you want to put it maybe like in a trash can or something? <laughs> You know what's interesting is that I did not even notice that. What? When I when I sent this, I just was just like on his wall. I just I didn't notice that it was on his wall. Yeah. I thought he was outside. And or... there is dark smoke coming yes. out. That's about to <laughs> <Yeah>. like <laughs> <laughs> I I had assumed that he was outside. Yeah. So to the only thing that, that would have been now, better than this would have been like another talk right after it, <laughs> where he's outside and the house is in flames and he's like, Fuck you, Mr. Trump. Yeah. Like, like, I burned my house down. <laughs> Ah. Could be. Now, that's a big fuck you to you. <laughs> <laughs> see, see. Yeah, I'll show you. I don't you. got a house no more. <laughs> <laughs> so this lady does hand work, and this can help you with your back pains. Oh, isn't that just nice? She does all kinds of hand and breath work to help with different ailments. <laughs> so this one's for back pain. Does your back feel better? Mm, actually, a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I'm feeling. I'm feeling. Great. You feel better now? I mean, how annoying uh, is this chick? You think it. she's like this making love? Yeah. Imagine this is your roommate and she's doing <laughs> this fucking weird shit. <laughs> and you're like, oh no. Six o'clock in the morning, she God. comes out to the living room like this. Yeah. Fucking. What if she did Ruth? all that hand stuff on your bean bag. That'd feel good. Huh? Right. <laughs> 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 I'd be like, ooh, oh, okay. <laughs> what do you think her puss puss smells like? Uh, <laughs> Like essential oils. Patchouli. Rose hip. Yeah, yeah. rose hip. <laughs> you know, some fucking. The eye stuff is kind of the maybe the yeah. part that really. Okay, I love you too. <laughs> oh my God. I, I, I love you. I love you. I love you. <laughs> sage. That's her name, Sage. Oh, that's sage. that's perfect. Sage. Sage. You're like, Sage, could you back. not do your TikTok videos? Listen, my back is room. killing me. I got to get on TikTok. <laughs> what the what is the where is the connection there? What is going on? You ain't here in the fucking in La Puente Vinen fucking drive in theaters. You ain't watching the fucking Cholo Zombies. Hey. You ain't seen my homeboy fucking HM Mota. Oh hey. man, you're stupid in the head. Fuck. Spets up. Spets up. You gotta, hey, you gotta fuck the Friday, homie. You gotta fuck the Friday. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, oh shit. <laughs> Watch, but you wouldn't want to be in the car next to this. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be like, we got to get out of here. <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of want to chill with her. I don't know. That sounds great. Oh, God. You she go is to the fucked point day, up homie. and enjoying herself. Hey, it's hey. not Friday at all. It's a completely different day. Yo, she's got massive face tattoos. Oh, yes. yeah. Homie. Like the thing on and the it's chin a... here and then the big rose here. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. And her friend had one, too. Yeah, yeah. She... More than one, I would say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he had a couple. <laughs> yeah. That is intense. I love her. I love her. She's no, she's fantastic. This is to me like a hundred percent. She's fucking faded, dog. She's faded. Yes. This is a hundred percent purebred, like LA steez. Yes. This is La Puente, but like they represent. Yep. That added shoe. Puente homes. Right homes. Yeah, the Angelinos. Fados Barbados. So you said, dog. Fados Barbados. You fucked up Friday, She's man. Crazy. I have a fucked up Saturday, dog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's so rough. Oh, so good. Dude, so good. I, you know I love these these girls. These are the girls that like taught me to smoke cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And like, come on. Yeah. Cholas are the best. Taught you to fight. You gotta fight, girl. Yes, you gotta fight back. That's yeah. right. Fuck them. <laughs> Chula, <laughs> she taught me what's up. Dude, I fucking I just love that energy. It's great. <laughs> it's a, what? It's just a guy throwing at a Dodgers game uh, a paper plane. Oh. And but watch this, it's pretty cool. Oh shit! Oh! <laughs> no way! Yeah, dude. Wow! Hey, los Dodgers! Hey. Oh shit! Oh, oh my no. God! <laughs> that, is, that is kind of awesome that's fun right yeah, that's that amazing is. good vibes you know why i bummed you guys out last time on my tiktok so i decided to bring in good vibes these are good vibes okay but good vibe talks paper engineer it's dope right it's a fucking but paper airplane did you notice yeah, that he his release is that a was real light 
Yeah, he just. I think most people go <sighs> like that. He right. Just went. He trusted what he made. Yeah, you gotta trust the process, man. <laughs> you gotta trust engineering. He's a paper engineer, as you can see. Yes. What well, is that right. job? That dude Where, knew. He knew. Work dude. at Xerox. No, what? you're a parent. That's making. Paper airplanes for your kids. Oh, probably. He did. probably. I'm a paper like, engineer boom. for yeah. two young yeah. boys. Yeah. Yeah. That's really good. That was dope. And thank That's you awesome. For not making us sad. You got it. That's some happy shit. Yeah. Let's see Thanks what's next. Christina. Good vibes only today. Yeah. Is this going to be a, a fun one next or a sad one? <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't guarantee shit. Right? <laughs> CDC approved, right? Cool. Pinch the nose. So I'm not cheating. <laughs> you want water? Also, hey. Switch to mist. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I did so really try. So if you're practicing social distancing. Um. Right. Mm. But if I'm right here in your face. No shit. And by the way, do you sneeze like a freaking elephant? <laughs> Who the hell puts that much water droplets through a mask? <laughs> How about you just be respectful and wear a mask like the businesses ask you to? They ask you to wear clothes and you wear that, right? Okay. Oh, and by the way, masks aren't 100% effective and neither is a condom. It's preventative and we do it to be safe. Yeah, she's duetting. Oh, I got original. you. So she took the persons and she was like, I hey. will. I just a little yeah. comment about your video. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Yes. yeah, if you'd give, just give me a moment. Yeah, I'd like but to address I like this. the initial girls thing. I'm like, see this stupid oh, yeah. shit. She was dumb shit. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't work. Oh yeah. The spray in there. It was basically a hose. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, look how the hose goes through this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Take that, FDA, CDC, whatever. Yeah. yeah. FDA. Stupid bitch. It's not the FDA. Hey, it's Friday. That's a nice cat. Cat. Yeah. Yep. It's not a cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's a I good knew one. you like that. That's a good one. <laughs> Here's how I know you like this. Yeah, a, there's me. there's a dog involved. Dude, you got you are the masters of studying people with interesting delivery. Oh. This is what I love. <laughs> it's just the behavioral subtleties. Yeah. Cat. <laughs> that was the Not best. Cat. The best part of this was just cat. Yeah. yeah that's yeah. What she, but yeah. you like that she. <laughs> You like that he was menacing that guy. Yeah. You like the menace yeah. involved yeah. and the, the absolute absurdity that he's like, yes. nice cat, dude. Yes. He's like, cat. Fantastic. <laughs> it's perfect. This is a perfect talk. Yeah, yeah. I knew you it's, like It's that. an outstanding talk. That's, right. <laughs> That's a nice cat. Cat. <laughs> yep. It's not a cat. <laughs> awesome. Like no shit, it's can't not. lean yeah. far enough into his neck to to look <laughs> oh. fully. Yeah. Okay. That's not a cat. I'd have been like, you know what? Cat. Looks like a cat to me. Yeah. Looks like a cat. <laughs> That's Meow. That's what I would done. Anyway, to. lovely cat. For my queens above eighteen, I have got a very special request going out. This video is the very, very, very request. Very special. It's going out to a queen above 18. She just turned 50 years old. And she had a good game in golf. <laughs> Par four. Oh, my goodness. That, that's amazing. I don't know anything or how that works. I'm not into the golfing or anything like that. But yeah. par four, four strokes, yeah. that's anything pretty like that. Anything like that. You guys need to get on my page and wish Christine a very, very happy <laughs> She was going to go for her last name, but happy didn't. You were going to try. And so, a good job. My you deserve. Queen above 18, the king loves you. Thank you, king. You deserve a bit of an explanation here. Yeah. We've oh. been following this man's talks for a while. Oh, really? Yes. And he does a thing where he starts his every video that he posts as like, Hello, my queen's above 18. <laughs> like, he always makes the distinction he's not talking to minors. Right. Um, <laughs> which, I don't know Very who that occurs to. Odd but, thing, uh, yeah. He always says it. So the our <laughs> listeners have now been contacting him and saying for him to make videos to her. Right. So, that's oh, the, so this right. is actually... Oh, no, no, oh, fuck, me. that's yes. right. Yeah, but so dude. They purposely call her... Christine, I didn't even realize and not that Christina, and then they they give him the the butchered last name, and then they say that she turned <laughs> fifty. <laughs> yes. 
Yeah. <laughs> they even spelled it phonetically, Pajetsky. Like that's yeah. as close as you're gonna get. Right, it's pretty right. close. It's, and you are fifty. So I am. Fa- hey, congratulations, yeah. Nifty Fifty. And hey. also, how does it feel to hear the king <laughs> talk about you and it's, your golf game? I have to say that it's extra creepy. Because do he, you have a good golf game? Oh, four strokes, buddy. <laughs> um, I do appreciate he wore pink and that his chest hair is showing in this one, which we haven't gotten to see his chest hair. I I've love seen it's it before. Just, oh, I've it's seen a it before. Tease. It's, it's a little tease. It's open also like it's bright and it's thick. <laughs> and the- I. I really love that he was going for your last name and, dis- and he was stopped. like, let's yeah. all give a big shout to Cri- to Christine. Bean. Well, because it's and tough. let's go. <laughs> let's, yeah, because he <laughs> he could say it's Paige Paige Ski, maybe you know. I get it. That's why I go by yeah. Christina P. It's like fuck. Oh last yeah, name. I'm yeah. over it, bros. <laughs> <laughs> for, for everyone's sake. We are right next Where's to the end of the rainbow. It's a fucking and double and rainbow. And I- That was a very wholesome one too. Wasn't that yes. awesome? And I actually, mean, I don't think I've ever seen somebody come up on the end of a rainbow. Yeah, like, yeah I've, I've never, never. I don't think I've ever seen that. Well, in but see what never. happened because, like, I think they realized at the end that it's because it's an illusion, right? It's like yeah. it kept getting it, like it went further. They were like, yes. "I thought we were in it. Yes, I thought we were in the rainbow. <laughs> yeah. oh, what shit. happened to the rainbow? It yeah. moved. <laughs> yeah. But hold on, it's there- not." Doesn't touch the ground, okay? But there yeah. could be a, a, there's a double rainbow. Now that I've seen oh, that, that right. could have been the second rainbow. So yes. I'm not sure. No, there's science, a long history there of science in there that I'm not knowing. People I on the know. internet freaking out at rainbows. Yes. There's a long yes. history. Yes. Well, I'm yeah. freaked out. I think rainbows are magic and they're, they're made awesome. by I leprechauns. Agree. And I like, agree. you fucking see the end. I've never seen the end of a rainbow. Me neither. I thought that was Yeah, that's actually dope. Like, they saw yeah. the, 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 the bottom part. Who yes. the fuck gets to see that in their life? Never seen I thought awesome. that was pretty yeah. cool. Very cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Positive. Right, see? Positive, positive vibes. Positive Good vibe. vibes today. Excellent vibes. There are vibes. zero people on earth. I mean, absolutely fucking nobody. Cornier than a millennial. Maybe a muscly man that works at a phone kiosk <laughs> or somebody on Instagram where their whole personality is their fat ass. But nobody, and I mean nobody, is cornier than a millennial. A Hufflepuff, dog parent, coffee-loving Disney adult. <laughs> Nobody cornier. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> what? Okay. All right, man. I like that he's like Hufflepuff. Yeah, that's a good dog list. Dog parent. That yeah. was pretty smart. Disney coffee, love it. Coffee Disney, love yeah. Disney parent. How could you love yeah. Disney? Yeah, Disney yeah. idiot. You well, fucking corny you fuck. Corny but ass. He, he does have a point though. Like there are those Disney adults who don't have children who go mm. to Disney uh, uh, every oh. year on those yearly paths. You ever had like a neighbor who's like just a hundred percent Disney all we day? Did. We did. Really? Mm-hmm. There are people that That's are kinda, hardcore Disney. Got a corny. I mean, a little. Corny. We had there, there were these corny. two corny ass, grown adults. <laughs> yeah, and they lived down the hall from us, and they had a license plate that said "Pixie Dusted." And and then we would ride the elevator, and you know, after a while, you start to see people over and over. <laughs> right. So we're in this very in standoffish building, right? Yeah. Like LA's very like, mm, like yeah. they don't, no one says like, it, it "How are you doing?" Uh, it wasn't so, the Rampart division. Yeah, it was a, it was not a good neighborhood. But right. but like you know, you see the guy, and I, he, I was like, "What's up?" He was like, "Feeling pretty good." Went to Disney, and I was like, "With your kid?" And he was like, "No, we just go every weekend." My wife every and I. Was like, Jesus. What? And that was his, yeah, that was their thing. You know? Oh, oh, it's a little, it's a little strange. You know? It's it, strange. It, every weekend, every I that's, understand. Oh, that's a lot. I understand being a Disney enthusiast. It is a very exciting. Place. Sure, it's a fran- It's a, it's, it's an incredible franchise. It's amazing. Yeah. They have a long history. It's and incredible. But there's a lot to adult. love. There's a lot to love. You're an adult. It's like going to Chuck E. Cheese every weekend and yeah, you don't what, have kids. What, are you what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. What the fuck are you doing there? It's like, dude, hit the strip club. Somewhere. Riding yeah. the teacup right? a little do, bit. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, live a little once you know? yeah go hey. fuck nerds yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, corny the, ass the best part was like we would refer to them as pixie dusted yeah at some point i'd be like oh i saw fucking pixie dusted pixie <laughs> dusted yeah. <laughs> yeah i was just like what a fucking dork like yeah for seriously real, dude, you're 36 and you're fucking going to <laughs> Disneyland every weekend, and we were all broke as a joke. We were all living in like yeah, the, the worst, worst neighborhood, neighborhood. So and you're like, spending full admission so much price. Money. I mean, you got a yearly pass, which had has to be like what 
Thousands. At least. Something. And then every time they drive down there and they got to spend money, right? Like you're, Jesus dude, Christ. Yeah, you eating, get something to eat. Eating in the park is expensive. Like, right. h- how did they even they afford this? They lived for Disney. I mean, that really was it. That's it. That's, That's it. why they were poor like us, because yeah. they were living for Disney. Yeah. Also, I've seen more custom license plates. Oh, my God. Out here. here. Life. Anywhere else. What did I just... I just we drove just behind. We just saw oh, the dumbest I one. I saw one. It was a Tesla. <laughs> huh. And the license plate, not... You know, sometimes things are made to look like a word. Like yeah, a yeah, there's a number. For like, right. right, for the, the sound. It just said all letters, fart gas. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's that was rad. it. That was pretty cool. Fart gas. Fart gas. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. It's pretty Clearly nice. a that's YMH fan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's up, guys? If you come to my girlfriend, I will beat you up. If a girl comes to me, I'll beat you up. And she's mine forever. Forever. And remember that. I'm serious. <laughs> oh. Are you scared? Terrified. Should be. I'm so terrified. Yeah. And that just melts my little heart. Yeah, yeah that was sweet. It's sweet. It's really sweet. Yeah. It was sweet. But just two horribly, horribly disfigured people. <laughs> and they just love each other. <laughs> and I just, it's so sweet. They do. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so I sorry. I'm <laughs> sorry. Don't be sorry. I know. Do you, know you know where my mind immediately goes? Mm. That like the panic on his face, walking in on her getting like triple teamed. Go you know? <laughs> and him being like, <laughs> <laughs> and there's these three just studs and a bow, bow, bow. <laughs> She's like I'm high sorry. five in each other. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought you were mine. Uh, I was gonna like, fight for you, bitch. Like, I'm gonna beat uh, these guys up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh it's Jesus. such you just know. Mm. I mean they're they're tiny they're so kids young. and they're, they're it's such a delicate thing. It's, gonna be, yeah. and, the, uh, it's gonna be over in three weeks. Yeah. And but the forever and they're gonna fight people. That's a great TikTok. Like, yeah. That's, That's a great, a great one. It's a great, great talk. talk. Excellent yeah. talk. Um, all right, we've got to wrap up here. This was an absolute blast oh, with you, so man. Fun. Likewise. You are a you. perfect fit here, man. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. Thanks Absolutely. for having me. It was so fun, man. Thanks for playing. You really played along. Oh, it's good yeah. times. My pleasure. Yeah. Um, Thanks for a, letting me play with you. With you. Yeah. We have. A, oh yeah, it was a blast, dude. <laughs> and, and people, you can follow you um, on all the socials. All socials are Mark Rubier. Right. That's it. That's Just it. Mark Rubier. Check Twitter. out the albums. Go to his YouTube. It's a fun, yes. fun, fun dive on your YouTube. Yeah, you're so um, talented. My goodness. Thank Every you. week we end with a closing song from a listener. Ooh. So they create music for us. Oh, uh, fun. Yeah. This song is called "Don't Be Stingy" by Dubree. So okay. Here we'll take you out, and Jeez. we'll see you guys next week. Thanks for listening. Bye, Have James. a good one. You only gon' die once, you only gon' shine once, yeah, yeah That was a lie, though, whoever told you was a lie, yeah Don't be stingy, if you got that light inside you Don't be stingy, don't be stingy, no, no I've been in the dark when the car don't start and the shit don't spark mm. Coming too far just to hold it all back, yeah, yeah, yeah Ready to be exposed, yeah, instead of close down Open hands now, open hands now. Oh, I said you got me fired up and opening my love on the door now. Hey, said you light my fire. This time is all about us. Whoa. You only gon' die once, you only gon' shine once. Yeah, yeah. That was a lie though. Whoever told you was a liar. Don't be stingy. If you got that light inside you, don't be stingy, don't be stingy, no, no. If we vibe, we vibe, I'm gonna do this shit all night on Zoom, zoom into my crib, baby. I'll send you a Uva, Uva, Uva. You better believe I'm coming up in May, yeah. When the sun comes and the flowers change. It's gonna be good. Oh, that's gonna be so damn good. You only gon' die once. 
You only gon' share my tears, yeah That was a lie, though What I told you was a lie, yeah Don't be stingy If you got that light inside you Don't be stingy Don't be stingy, no, no If we vibe, we vibe I'm gonna do this shit on Night on Zoom Zoom into my crib, baby I'll send you a Hi, Mommy. Thanks, Jean. Thank you for watching this episode of Your Mom's House. And if you had a great time, watch more videos here, here, here. And don't forget to subscribe here, 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 so that you will know when a Your Mom's House video comes out immediately. Thanks, Jean.